Hey, your boys here at Married to the Games have gotten off our tukuses, and we are going to take part in Extra Life this year. It's going down November 5th, and we cannot wait. Go to extra-life.org, type in Married to the Games, and support your boys, man. Come on. Yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. You know what it is. It's them kids and wives and nine two fives. But we are still married to the games. Episode two one zero. Yes, sir. Rebaba Junior. It's your boy Gabe Patillo with Tim Router, Ed Placencia, and Chris McCracken, of course. And as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here man oh man all right all right i spent good it. job everybody i just wasted it <laughs> a good podcast i just wasted all of it way to go yeah yep that yep, was good that was a good one 210 in the books <laughs> yeah <laughs> router oh brother it's been it's been one minute and 25 <laughs> seconds. Oh, and there, there it is. I was going to say, I was waiting for it. Yeah, he sounds so much better. Uh, I was waiting for I know, it. Right? I know. I definitely do. Uh, it is still lingering, and it's usually it usually happens in the morning, thankfully. So, yeah, this is perfect oh. timing. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that. Um, Shoot. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's this thing, and honestly, I'm not the only one. There's several people who've like, you've had this cough, like it just keeps going for like three weeks, right? And I'm like, yeah, it's been, mm. it, it's not, it, there's no fever. It's not laying me out anymore. Like I, we had soccer practice yesterday, and I ran around with the kids, and you know, everything. Oh, you guys was, do practice? Oh, yeah, we do a practice on a Tuesday, baby. <laughs> That's where coaches do their most well, work. And, and let's do let's put practice in big old quotes too, because it's <laughs> yeah. pretty hilarious. It's not just hanging out. Uh, it's part of that. Yes, it's a bit of a social gathering as well. <laughs> so uh, let me ask you this though: There's only three people on the team. No, there's a total of ten ten girls on the roster. On the game with the games, you do three people. It's three versus three with no goalie. And then you just swap out. You like rotate two. them out, yeah. Yeah, you rotate two uh. of the girls in and out. So we have a total of 10 girls. Uh, on, that's that's the max on the roster. And uh, How fluid is the is the subbing in and out? Is it like hockey or is it like uh, trying to get dump trucks to parallel uh, parks? It's, it's like this. Hey, hey Natalie, you want to come in? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Madeline, do you want to come in? <laughs> no. Uh, well, why don't you come on in anyway? Yeah, it's hilarious. It is awesome. I'm telling you. That's amazing. Yeah, it is so much fun. And yesterday, it's like, Natalie. it's just, it's just like, Freaking Natalie. it's just Always hurting a cats. Troublemaker. Oh. Exactly. It's just hurting cats, man. That's all you're doing. And, you should uh, get one of those laser sights. Oh, that'd be amazing. It's a great idea. Get some catnip up in here or something. <laughs> just put it on the grass, though, and just chase it. Mm-hmm. So so the the head coach, uh, his name's Dave, real nice guy. Uh, he's actually out of town for the next two weeks. So I, as the assistant coach, am basically uh, taking care of everything. So we had practice. Oh, we had practice The designated yesterday. survivor. I am the designated <laughs> survivor. So we had practice. Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> we practiced yesterday. I, I did, uh, you know, we did some little drills as much as you can. Really, what I'd try and do is just... just let them have as much fun as possible while still trying to learn how to control the ball and kick and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's just a hot mess, but it's so much fun. Um, so we have a game this weekend at uh, at the, the soccer fields. So we usually do a practice on Tuesday, game on Saturday, and like we'll be doing that for the next couple weeks. So it's it's fun, though. I, I'm actually enjoying it. I think Piper enjoys it, too. Does somebody win? Like, do you guys do? There's winners? no winners. Nope. There, I don't even think we keep score. Like, I in my head, <laughs> what? I in my head kind of keep score as to what's going on, but yeah. uh, no, nobody says anything. You're like, it's it's really it, with this age group, it's just such... yeah. At this age, I'm okay with the whole participation. But it's like, yeah, you're all winners. Yeah, that's fine. Do you just like blow a whistle and everybody just slowly walks to their cars? Like, well, that was that was a run around. You don't even have to blow a whistle. You just have to be like, all right, that's it. 
<laughs> That's Thanks, it. Everybody. We're going home. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> oh my gosh! I couldn't Basically do that. Just recess with uniforms. Oh, it's yeah. it's exactly what it is, man. It's recess. With is there uniforms. a ref? No, oh, of course not. No, there's no refs. It's a free for all. There was a girl no that basically. Ref. What would a ref a, do? <laughs> exactly. There's a girl that picked up the ball and carried it, and practically Aussie rules football kicked it into the goal like the other game. It was so much. It was hilarious. And you're just like, no, no, sweetie, you can't do that. You can't use your hands. I don't and think then, I like, could do it. Oh, like dude, I don't you, think I could do it. No. Please come. Please come. There's no way. Please come to a game uh-uh. and just laugh your butt off. It's so funny. Oh, I, I uh, love it, man. It's just it's just a hot mess, and it's so much fun. But I mean, this is their first introduction to sports and teamwork, and you know it's good. I think it's it, I think it's important to have. So why not? So that's it's good. It's hilarious. But anyway, You're a good person. Yeah, I wasn't trying. Well, you know, gotta be. <laughs> I gotta be there. But oh. I do like if. If they asked me to coach next year and Piper wanted to keep doing it, I would probably do it because it's it's pretty fun. It's a good time. Um, That's crazy. Speaking I, of Piper, yes, let's let's dig into Piper's topic of the week this week. Mm. All right, here we go. It's castles. I don't. <laughs> Ooh, castles. I don't know All why. Right. I don't know how, but uh, we have been watching the mess out of Elena of Avalor, who is a princess and there's a castle. <laughs> so that's pretty much how that, I, like it was so, so here's what I do. Like Tuesday evening, I tell her, babe, I'm doing the podcast in the morning. What's the topic? And normally she'll like, she'll basically say what she's watching. Like we were watching Star Wars or something yesterday. I'm like, honey, what do you want the topic of the week to be? She's like, BB-8. I said, we already did that, honey. So like it's, it's whatever's in <laughs> front of her. But last night, like it, she was like, she had her mind made up. I'm like, honey, what do you want the topic of the week? Castles. Okay. Really? Yeah, she had her mind made up, so I have Maybe no idea. Maybe she just really likes that TV show, Castles. I was going to say, I was really hoping you were going to say she was watching the mess out of Castles. <laughs> Nathan Fillion, he's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, Mimi and Pop-Pop do watch Castle, so. There you and, go. And she's, she's asked if Castles on. She has no idea what it is or what it stands for or what it means, but whatever. We definitely saw Castles when we were in Europe a couple uh, months oh, ago. Oh, I believe that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's, it's definitely like, oh, and we stay at a manor, which mm-hmm. is obviously different oh, than a castle, but like, that's it's, so still cool. that, it's still that really, really old, yep. like the, 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 where we eat breakfast, the woodworking in there. Is from fifteen ten. Uh, isn't it's that amazing? Isn't America that amazing? was found in fourteen ninety two. Yeah. Just to put in perspective, and we weren't even we weren't a country for hundreds of more years after. Yeah, exactly. That. Exactly. Yeah. That's, That's crazy. Uh, fifteen ten. Blows my mind like the history in Europe and just like you could go to a castle that's been there and has stood there since like the thirteen hundreds even. It's just it's insane. It yeah. really, really is. Castles are cool. I want one. I know, right? I'll take one. <laughs> yeah. that? That's that's my summary of castles. Yeah. Castles are cool. I'll take three. With a moat, please. May I have a moat? <laughs> right. So yeah, and it's that's all, awesome. It's all good. Anyway, so yeah, there's castles for you. Um, uh, let's see what else. This past week, still just working and trying to get caught up with everything. Um, let's see what else is going on. Um, we did. <laughs> don't laugh at me. We Uh-oh. did. We did book our our Disney trip next month. I was just about to ask. Yeah, yep. it's our final. This is this is kind of it's kind of bittersweet because it's our real final one where like the the three of us can be together without having to pull her out of school. Uh, which oh, right. you know mm. pre preschool, come on, we can take her out of school. That's totally fine. Last year. Yes. Yeah, even kindergarten. But you know what? Like next fall, she's going into kindergarten. We usually go in October. That's like a month in to being in kindergarten and we were like you know i don't really want to take her out of school like i want her to be in there and and to learn and i mean again it is kindergarten it's not like she's studying for the sats or anything but um (laughs) so this is kind of this is kind of our last hurrah um a little different though uh saving some money we're gonna drive down really nice dude we're saving like two grand just in doing yeah i know that's right what's that what's that 11 hours it's nine, apparently, according to Google Maps. Okay. So nice. this gr- this girl bad. is a road warrior because she's been to New Jersey twice this summer, mm. and uh, and then nine hours down, well, eight and a half down to the beach, and she's awesome at it. And so we're like, why don't we save a little money and just drive down, and that way we've got our own car, and mm-hmm. yeah. uh, you know we'll make an adventure out of it. So that's exactly yeah. nice. So yeah, I'm excited. It'll be good. So um, 
yeah, and it's like right around Mickey's Not So Scary. We got our tickets for that. So it's kind of our traditional thing that we do because when you go with the the entire fam, you kind of get pushed and pulled around uh, with, with what all the kids want to do. And that's fine, and it's fun. But this time it's just the three of us. You know, we don't even have to go in the parks. We could go to the pool. We could do whatever. And yes. it's, mm-hmm. it's not like a it's not like a. You can do Toy thing. Story ten times in a row. Exactly. And <laughs> honestly, that's probably what we'll do because that's really the only attraction at Hollywood Studios right now since everything's under construction. Well, you can go to oh, Star wow. Wars. Yeah, well, that I want to do too, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be all good. So we did that, which is which is great. And then um, when are you guys going? When did you say you were going? Uh, we're going on the. I think we drive Sunday the sixteenth. It's either the fifteenth or the sixteenth, and then we come back the next Saturday of October. Yeah, we finally got the Grand Floridian. Finally. Oh yes. So, uh, that's oh, our, that's my favorite. As, oh, as my part gosh. of the Disney Vacation mm-hmm. Club, that was our hub. And since we joined the Vacation Club, we've never been able to stay there because it's always booked up. Hmm. So this time we got it, and um, so it's all good. So I'm super excited. It'll be fun. What are you laughing at, Chris? What are you laughing Chris at? Chris is laughing. <laughs> no, no, no. That that place is super nice. I, I've only been able to go there because we had a – when we went with our nieces, they had the dinner or whatever, the princess dinner thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was just like, yeah, never going to be able to afford to go in here otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That place yeah. is super nice. And it, it was Christmas, nice. so it was decked like oh, yeah. crazily. Oh, it was oh, so yeah. beautiful. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty Shoot. cool in October too because they deck everything out for Halloween and it gets you yeah, in the I Halloween bet they do. spirit and it's it's a lot of fun. So, um, uh, let's see what else uh, on the gaming front. I have mm. pre I have pre ordered all of my games for the remaining for the rest of the year for 2016. Why? Wow. Nice. Like, and it goes like this. And the beauty of it, it didn't have to pay a dime thanks to my Best Buy gift cards. There you go. Right. Uh, I am getting Watch Dogs two. Nice and yep. Dishonored two. Gonna get there the watchdogs too. I'm gonna get the watchdogs too. <laughs> can I get some watchdogs too? Of course you can. <laughs> With a little dishonor too. Um, and and I went ahead oh. and got the Bioshock collection. Oh yeah. yeah. And I started oh, it. Yeah. And I started it. And y'all can, whatever. I freaking love that game. That it is good. Wait, I, which one did you start? Bioshock, you Bioshock? one. Numero uno. Oh, nice. Really? And you like it? I really dig it, yeah. It's, Good. It's I weird. Heard the jump button is triangle. Yes, it is. And, That's weird. Well, yeah. It, the the mechanics, and I remember Hall was saying that the, the mechanics of the game are a, a little wonky and not what you're used to. Obviously, yeah. they, clean, they clean that up in Infinite. I don't know if they clean it up in 2 either, but um, mm. you, get, you get used to it. It's... It, Dude, it's really taking me back to like infinite, and like I can't wait to. to I'm gonna play that game again, definitely. So I'm gonna. Yeah. Wow. I, I think up until Watch Dogs. Uh, is the Watch Dogs is, comes out before Dishonored? I think so. It's really. It's just a few days apart. Yeah, yeah it's it's literally like a Friday and then a Tuesday. So up until those releases, I'm pretty much gonna play this entire collection. I think. I think that's my goal. And when is so, when do you get Stick of Truth? Uh, that comes in December. Oh, that's December. Okay. Yeah. So you were right. Yeah. Let me, um, let's back up. So no, I did pre-order the fractured butthole. Oh, uh, but, yeah, that's right. But that, that, so that'll be in de- December. So really there are three pre-ordered games on the way. And, uh, but man, dude, yes, I, uh, I went in with Gabe's, uh, Gabe on my right shoulder going, you're not going to like this. You're not going to like this. Yeah. And, um, I, I really like it, man. It's and really so, fun. Is it, is it really dark? Like not dark, no, it's like dark. Like this it, is creepy, but I'm saying dark. It's like creepy in actual color. Um, it's actually it looks beautiful. To be honest, I think okay. it looks it looks good. So I think that's one of the things that they may have cleaned up uh, w- when they re-release this. It looks man. Really I always good. felt like that thing was so dark and hard it to play. Is. I was like, I can't even see where I'm going. There are some places where you're like, man, I can't see if that's an enemy or not, but. Um, but you hear them, which is good. So, like, that's kind of your your trigger warning. And you know, when mm. the big daddies are, and that's spooky. When the big daddies come in, you hear that. Mm, you're like, oh snap, where are yeah. they? So yeah. you kind of have to look around. But um, it's it's messed up, man. I I I, I gotta say, <laughs> yeah, it's it definitely it's definitely a messed up game. But I'm really enjoying it. It's it's a lot of fun. So that's I'm excited. Awesome. I think I'm about I want to say like four or five hours in. 
Um, wow, nice. It's one of those things where I just started playing. I'm like, yeah, right, yeah, I'll just keep going. And then next thing you know, it's like, oh, shoot, I got to get dressed and go to work and do all this other stuff. So <laughs> when it, when a game kind of takes you away from all that, I, it's, that's a good sign. So That's definitely a good yeah, sign. Yeah, that's true. I, I've pretty much put Hitman. I put Hitman on pause. I knew I know there was an elusive contract this past this past weekend, and I didn't get a chance to do it. Um, but, like, Monday, honestly, was the first day I was able to, to get back up on the PS4. And uh, mm. and so the first thing I did was Bioshock, which is great. So I'm That's having awesome. a good, I'm having a really good time with it, and uh, and still doing that Clash Royale, baby. And of uh, nice. got a good thing going finally at Arena Eight, which is awesome. There you go. So uh, I think I'm getting the hang of it, and it's and, yeah. and I'm not using any like real special characters. I'm using like a basic, um, very basic deck. So uh, it's a lot of fun, man. I love it. Nice. That is it for me. I will try not to cough as much, but it's definitely better. Thank the Lord. Yeah, you sound a lot better. You sound great, man. Yeah, 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 and it's 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 weird because like at night it would you would start to feel like just garbage and just you feel weak and I felt warm all the time and that's been gone since like the weekend. So now it's just getting over the rest of whatever this hacking is. I'm glad you're feeling better, man. There that's you awesome. Go. <coughs> and there you go. <clears throat> There's my exclamation point. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Edward. Yeah, man. How goes it, man? It goes well. It goes well. We had a we had a nice weekend. Um Saturday we had a big game night. Wait. And we had people over to play a card game called Killer Bunnies. And uh it was nice. We had a great time. Was anything like Chubby Bunny? Oh gosh. No, no, no. <laughs> Chubby Bunny is the worst. Chubby Bunny. <laughs> Chubby Bunny. I've never actually been uh, anywhere like at a youth group or something like something like that that actually played that game. I've only heard about it. I'm the it's same. Awful. I've never actually played it or seen people play it. It's always just been one of those things. Oh, we should play, <laughs> and then never did. Mm -hmm. I played it and threw up all over the place. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> but isn't the goal of it to just stuff them in your mouth? You're not supposed to eat them, so how do you? Yeah, you just right? stuff. However because many the ones in the back of your mouth as you go start like. Dis oh. disintegrating and yeah. leaking down your throat. <laughs> That's <laughs> lovely. So Chubby Bunny, for those that are like, what in the world are they talking about? <laughs> is a game that you play with marshmallows. The big ones. You and, right? Yeah, not yeah, the, the small ones, ones, the jumbo ones. And, right. And you put one in your mouth. Everybody puts one in their mouth and go around the circle. And everybody says Chubby Bunny. And then you put another one in your mouth, Chubby Bunny. And so the the goal is who can... Who can really sound like they're saying Chubby Bunny with the most marshmallows in their mouth? Without throwing and, up. Uh, well, I don't, know if, I don't know if throwing up is part of it or if I invented that in the game. I, you, nobody you else threw up but me. I feel like you invented it because I never heard that before. Exactly. Me either. <laughs> If somebody was like, hey, let's play Chubby Bunny and let's see who throws up. I might be like, uh, I don't feel like playing. I'm not playing that. I feel so. like with kids, though, that ultimately ends up being how they can end any game. Let's just do this till we see who throws up. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. true. Yeah, exactly. They just turned into, yeah, that was when I was in uh, high school. Yeah, when you get into college, it definitely continues right? like that. So what? So what is Killer Bunnies in? Uh, it's a card game, um, and you're basically uh, just trying to end the game with a bunny alive and kill other people's bunnies during the hmm. process of the game. Um, is it like... Are you it's hunting them or shooting them or like, you're doing through, everything? Through the cards? Yeah, yeah nice. it's it's yeah, it's all over the place. It's pretty crazy, and we have I think there are eleven expansions. We've got all eleven of them, and so, so we've got all the all the <laughs> physical card DLC. It's a yeah. massive, huge amount of cards that we've got. It's ridiculous. And, are you uh, serious? Yeah, we had a great time. One hundred and one ways to kill a bunny. Exactly. Yeah, that we have. It, there's probably more than a thousand cards in there now. Oh, that's what? amazing! Yeah, wow. um, yeah amazing. You, you, you never get to the end of them, so it's it's a lot of fun. When you say in there, is that just like a big bag of stuff, or we just have like stacked deck. twelve separate draw piles? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm assuming not all of them are killing bunnies. Some of them are feeding bunnies or something like that. Yeah, and like there are weapons to kill another bunny and what oh, have you. And uh, amazing. So, and, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So we had I think eleven people over here. Uh, Holy playing, cow. Yeah, it was it was nice. We had a good time, and um, it was fun. We played a little bit of Jackbox Party Pack after that, after the, the, the game was over, and uh, man, it was a good time. I can't wait for Party Pack 3 to come out. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be great. 
Um, let's see. Sunday night, watch the Emmys. Congrats, everyone. Jimmy yeah. Kimmel did a great job as host. It he was really did. I agree. He definitely did a great job. Yeah. It was, I, I totally forgot that they were even on. Yeah. You know, watch, there was something else on. At the, what night was that? that Sunday. Would be football. So probably football. Exactly. <laughs> That's how that goes. <laughs> All those theater nerds were watching the Emmys. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I would have recorded the Emmys or something, but yeah. Uh, I totally forgot that they were coming on. Congratulations to uh, OJ and them. I know. I was a good yeah, night for they OJ. Tore it, they <laughs> tore it up. That was crazy, man. Shoot, I wasn't expecting that. I loved how what Jimmy Kimmel said to uh, uh, Marsha Clark, who was in the audience. So are you actually rooting for OJ tonight? Nice. No, that's funny. <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of, uh, Good night for comedians. Uh, really? Louis Anderson, Aziz Ansari, Kate McKinnon, Patton Oswalt, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, they all won an award. Great. So it was a good night. Um, video game-wise, still playing uh, Family Guy and Simpsons Untapped for hashtag poop life. Oh, nice. yeah. Um, Sarah and I have been going nuts with LEGO Dimensions. Got a bunch of expansions this week. Uh, so we played Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, Doctor Who. That was a lot of fun. Mm. And have those... Those went ahead and just come out, right? Have those been just some of the ones that are already out there? Yeah, those have been out for a while. The new okay. ones come out uh, like a week from on the 27th, so they'll start coming out with some new ones. So I think we pre-ordered the fe- the new female Ghostbusters pack, uh, the A-Team. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, oh, A-Team would be incredible. Gremlins and E.T. I think we're going to grab. So yeah, we're looking forward to, to getting into that again. Um, Great. Picked up ReCore. Yes. And, yeah, you did. And you know what? It's funny because going into it, I knew, oh, wow, there's a huge price drop. I heard it's horrible. But, nah. I, I, but you let's know, go what, for it. Let's go for it. And I I was loving it. Loving it. it. Yes. Yes. What the heck? I was loving it. Right. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm hating it. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, exactly. the, uh, so the what female, happened? the protagonist, uh, Jewel is her name. She's kind of a cross between Ray from Star Wars and Lara Croft. And, okay. um, I was having a blast and I started to notice as I played, wow, these loading screens are long. And I thought, well, maybe it's just me. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm Impatient. just, it, yeah, exactly. But I thought, well, you know what? I'm having such a good time playing the game. I don't mind the a uh, loading screen here and there. Doesn't matter. And I was I was loving it until I got to this boss battle, and I, I started noticing the loading screens getting longer and longer and longer. Mm. Mm. And I I'm and in. I got. Oh, say what was that? I was just gonna say, is was the boss battle you're at? Are you, is this like towards the end of the game, or are you feeling like you're like halfway? I don't think so because I'm only. I think it's 11 uh, videos on YouTube, and they're maybe 20 minutes a piece, so I'm not that far into it. Mm. Okay, yeah, I hadn't, I'd see, hadn't read any of the reviews to find out, like, is this game long? Is it short? I, I yeah, wasn't sure. I don't know either. Yeah. Um, okay. I feel like there's part of a map I haven't even gotten to yet, ah, so okay. I'm not sure where I am, but uh, I, I got to this boss battle that... It's kind of what happened to me in Borderlands, where I went into the boss battle. I don't think I'm powered up enough uh, to, yes. to beat it, and yep. I can't get out. Oh, uh, um, yeah. But I've been there. The thing with this game is that it's really hard to get your rhythm because with a lot of boss battles, you die. You, it starts again, and you're kind of like, okay, I'm st- now. Here's what I need to do. I'm in the rhythm still, and what have right. you. So add on. And it's no exaggeration because, of course, editing them, I can see how, how long these chunks are I'm taking out. Add on a two and a half to three minute loading screen after oh. every time you die. Oh, jeez. Oh, on top of the fact that after you die in the boss battle, they don't start you at the boss battle. You have to travel to the boss battle oh. again. Oh, no. You know what this sounds exactly like, at least in this part right here? It sounds hmm. exactly like Bloodborne. You know what? Someone ah. told me that on Twitter, and I'd never played that. Because with Bloodborne, you know, like much like uh, Dark Souls, is that you know they don't drop you at a boss battle. I mean, there's somewhere there's kind of like a you can return right there, 
Right. You, you spawn back at wherever your little point where you set your campfire or whatever they're called. I forget what they are at the moment. Right. And then you have to travel back to wherever the boss fight is. And but you also in Bloodborne, like you have to refight everything on your way there. Yep. Right. That's part yep. of the punishing aspect that people really like. Yeah. But specifically with Bloodborne, when it first dropped, the loading times were ridiculously long. Like, I never sat and timed them, but it hmm. sounds about like what you're going through. Down the road, I think a couple months afterwards, they dropped a patch, may have only been about one month, and it reduced the load times at least by half, which was definitely better. Yeah. Um, but you, everything you're saying is like almost the exact same thing I, I encountered uh, in Bloodborne right in the very really? beginning. Of course, not gameplay wise. They're totally different, I'm assuming. Right. Played record, right. But yeah, that's kind of crazy. You said that you were trapped. Like, so when you died, you had you got to this whatever loading point, and then you had to go back to the boss battle. So you can't, you couldn't go anywhere else. The only way, I guess, the only way you'd be out of it is if you'd ha- you'd have to load a previous autosave and get out of it completely. Exactly. Yeah. Because I thought, well, oh. you know what? I'll just fast travel to another. I'll just fast travel out of here. And then go build up my character some more, which right, right. I didn't think I needed to, but there's no, f- you're like trapped in the area where you're in. Oh man. So it's just after the, it's, 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 it was annoying just because sure. usually you just don't want to die. And now the, the, uh, the encouragement to not die is just that you just don't want that loading screen. <laughs> yeah. Cause then yeah. you're just sitting there. Dang it. Oh. Yeah. And so it was just. I want to go back and try again, but I, I went back the next day and I thought, well, maybe it's one of those things where I struggle and struggle. I go back the next day and, and all of a sudden it's easy. And I went back and died once and that loading screen popped up and I was like, nah, I can't do this. Nice. Oh, no. Yeah. And so it's like, is it not even fair? Like, are you way underpowered or? Yeah. And it's it's way underpowered and it's, yeah, it's just... um yeah, and it's one of these things that if you make a bad mistake and die really quickly, you got to go through the whole thing again. It's Whoa. like, oh, oh Lord, have mercy. It. Yeah. So I, I, was, I hated it because I was having such a good time playing it. And I was really enjoying it. But man, I, I remember being so surprised because I, I feel like I hadn't heard any about anybody playing Record. Yeah. And so when you were like, this is good, I was like, oh, snap, maybe I need to go. Yeah, <laughs> right. check that out just in time to get your rage quit. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call it now that they're probably going to patch those load times. Oh, down. I'm I mean, sure. it's just because other games have done it. It's got to be something that they're at the very least exploring. And as long as it's doable, I'm sure that they'll, they'll yeah. do that. So maybe. Hopefully sooner than later. I mean, I've not right. read or heard that that's actually going to happen, but yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if it does. My yeah. thing is, that I don't ever re- do they not realize that the load times are long. When they're making the game, I wonder the same thing. Like for because if you're right not. about the Bloodborne, is it Bloodborne you were saying had the yeah. patches? I remember mm-hmm. reading that too, Chris. Like, wh- why not just do, do, <laughs> do that at first? Because yeah. I, I mean, I don't know, but I would assume that they're doing everything. I mean, just look at this generation. So many delays of things. They're just doing everything they can to hit a date, and if there's an issue, we'll patch it. Just get the game out on the date. You know, I, I yeah. would be willing to bet that's what. What, it was uh, from there was a day one update, wasn't there, Ed? Um, I didn't have an update when I bought it. Mm. Did you buy it digitally? I did, yeah. So if you bought it digitally and it was a little bit after release, if there was a day one patch, then that patch is rolled into the initial download. Is there it? You go. Yeah. Okay. So that may be why you didn't see it if if there was one. Okay. Yeah. Good so to know. Was, I did not know that. Yeah, it was yeah. a bummer. But yesterday, I kind of the gaming universe was a. Kind of made up for it all because Batman the Telltale series Yay. episode two dropped. That's right. It oh, did. so much fun. Such good. a great story they're telling there. Nice, nice palate cleanser for you then. Then that's it good. Very much was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something you could smile again. Exactly. <coughs> and not throw your times. controller. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or have to ask for forgiveness after all your cursing. <laughs> <That's> right. right. <laughs> Apologize to the cat. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, the cat has heard a lot, I am sure. The cat <laughs> has gotten an earful, yes. <laughs> yeah. A lot of unwarranted rage at the cat this week. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the cat's nice. like, when did you start watching Cat Williams again? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, sorry, that's me. Who had sorry, his w- another weekly arrest for cat, so yeah, what good the on heck, you. man? It's not even news anymore. He needs some better friends. I'm telling you. Yeah. To no be like, kidding. hey, come here for a sec. Hey. Come sit down right here. Yeah, <laughs> right. just sit. Just sit down. Chill out. Don't go anywhere for a month. 
Yes. Every time you leave the house, you either get arrested or punched out by a kid. <laughs> hey, here, here's recourse. Sit down and play it. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Enjoy the loading times. You can go outside when you beat it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Exactly. I love it. That's oh, me. Oh, gosh. Nice. Christopher McCracken. Uh, so last Friday after work, um, there's an area near between our work and where we live, a little town called Grapevine. And as you can imagine from the name, there's a lot of wine wineries and things going on in that little part of town. Sweet. Uh-huh. And uh, they had this event over the weekend called Grape Fest. They have it once a year. It's just kind of like they shut down the, the downtown area and they put up all these vendors, all these different wine vendors go there and food vendors and all kinds of other stuff. And, you you know, you pay your 10 bucks to get in and you can just walk around and see all the vendors and the artwork and everything. So um, Stacy and I went directly after work she had actually gone in the middle of the day uh with some friends of hers like on their lunch break to go check it out so she had a stamp she's like hey we were thinking about going anyways let's just go today after work because i can get right back in oh yeah and then we only have to pay for you to get in that way we're not sure. paying again the next day so we went there and we walked around didn't really try any of the wine we're, we're not big on the wine stuff I, I mean i enjoy it but i really just wanted to walk around and check out like the artwork in the vineyard because it's almost like a <laughs> like mini, i really was uh, just trying to get drunk so yeah <laughs> it's really like a, a mini art show slash wine thing i mean it's about half vendors mm. and art and then half wineries you know showing showcasing whatever their current very cool it's not it's not called a brew whatever it's called their current great crawl stuff sure whatever <laughs> i don't know i'm some <laughs> some wine person that's really into our shows like oh my gosh he's getting this so wrong and really upset with me <laughs> they right have now. to have an accent if they're into wine <laughs> clearly Absolutely. that's right uh so we did that that was fun um and then on saturday my brother my older brother dusty he's uh they're having an, another little kid and so they wanted me to take the photos of the announcement photo you know oh that nice they throw up on um Facebook and whatever mm-hmm. other social media. I did it for them the last time they had a, a kid. So I took their photo for them and they threw that up on Facebook and everybody's all excited. They're having another little girl. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, we signed up. Well, actually last week at work, I found out that a couple people in my kind of department or I guess area, the marketing wing of the, are trying to get together and do a 5k that's coming up in October. It's an Oktoberfest 5k. Yeah. So I'm signed up for that. And we're actually uh, there's kind of a costume contest, if you will. So a lot of people dress up like in later hosen or whatever, you know, just to to run along in. But our group, what they're going to do is most of us are going to try to dress up in some way or, or another of uh, Dwight Schrute from The Office. Cause he's oh, yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I actually got my costume all set up and I didn't want to, I was like, okay, that's cool. I'm down with that. And then I started thinking about, it. I was like, well, he wears a lot of suits and ties and he wears these mustard yellow shirts. And it's like, man, it's going to be hot. Yes, sir. Assuming, you know, if it, I don't know what the weather's going to be, but just wearing yeah. all that and running a 5k. You and are then I remember there was an episode where they did a 5k and I was mm-hmm. like, I'm just going to wear what he wore. And I've already made my outfit. Nice. <laughs> it's just a gray, t- it's a gray long sleeve shirt where he spray painted shroot beet farms our farms and then beats right. on the shirt with a stencil. Uh, and then he just had these, uh, camouflage like cargo shorts or something. So I've just got, I've already nice. got those two pieces. I'm like, I'm good. I'm done. I know that's right. Nice. So looking forward to that. Stacy and I also have a 5k coming up this coming Saturday. So that's going to be two 5ks in a row for me, which I'm actually mm, excited about because nice, I've been getting back into running. Cause good man. It's been yeah, a while. Yeah. I didn't do any working out of any sort when I was sick for that like week and a half. And so I'm, I just feel like, all right, I need to finally get back in the swing of things. Cause when you're sick, I was always on the cusp of like, I'm going to get better. And if I push myself, you know, it might make it worse. So I'm just going to not do anything. Mm-hmm. And then it never got better. And I was getting annoyed. So, right. Of course. That's what I always think about working out. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I'm like, when I get better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll be right with you, Shanti. <laughs> exactly. I, I'll be say right this. right back. God bless people like like Ed and, and well, like Sarah, who li- enjoy working out to the level that they you know want to teach other people and show people how to do it correctly and all that. Because we yeah, need that's that. Incredible. But man, I j- I, j- I do not enjoy working out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't either. Don't. Yeah. Like I I literally only do it because. For like health reasons. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. And I, I, I do, and I do enjoy running. That's one thing. That's kind of the one caveat. You do? I, I, you I, do? I, enjoy I can't running. stand yeah. running. Ugh. I think it's but so I don't, boring. It's the worst not, part of it. It's yeah, not I agree. The act of doing the running I enjoy, it's, I can, like, it like clears my mind. It's almost cathartic in a way. Like it's, it's yeah. relaxing, which sounds weird to say, cause I'm running, you know, and exerting my, you know, physical efforts and everything for like a long duration. But 
something about it just helps me calm down and, and like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I can't explain it. Cause I always thought I didn't run back in the day. I was like running. That's for idiots. You know, who wants to do that? <laughs> and then I started that's for crazy it. people. Exactly. I was that's like, nobody's idiots. chasing you. Why are you running? <laughs> but then I started doing, I was like, huh, there's something to this. So, but Man. I am going to get back to the, the whole, the, uh, what is it? The hardcore, or whatever that brought from you router. Cause that's actually been really cool. And I've enjoyed yeah. the resistance part of it even better than the, uh, the cardio stuff, which I totally thought was going to be the opposite way around. Yeah, no, the so. 22 minute hardcore is pretty decent. Yeah, I'm ready to get back into that now that everything's feeling better. Um, I did put up on our YouTube channel my Explorers Wanted entry. Yeah, yeah buddy. Oh, I did, yeah. Uh, I did Jordan Tate because I just didn't feel like I was going to be able to pull off the tough mercenary. <laughs> I was like, that's just not the role that quite fits me, I don't think. You, 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 can, great, you can be tough, Chris. No, I, I believe you can be. Yes, you can. I can be tough, but nobody believes it. It's like, come on, get out of here. <laughs> He's trying to sound tough. You, Look you at the way great, he runs. Though, He's not tough. You yeah, did, you did really a great well. job, man. Yeah, it was fantastic. Well, I appreciate it. Really good. So we'll see if anything comes from that. I'm not expecting anything, but it was fun to do. Yes. Uh, and then as far as gaming wise, it's pretty much the exact same as last week. I didn't really play much of anything. The only thing that I played video game wise uh, was on Tuesday, no, Monday night, I uh, was like, all right, I'm going to jump into Destiny. My plan was to do it over the weekend because oh, the new yes. return or Rise of Rise Iron, Iron expansion yes. drops mm-hmm. dropped yesterday on Tuesday. And I was like, I want to kind of get back in there, get my feet wet, relearn the controls and, you know, just see yeah. what else is going on. Yeah. And I went to go start it up and the de- the update hadn't downloaded in rest mode. Oh, so like, all right. So. Uh, Two of my friends were on there. We were the plan was we were all going to get on jump on together because we're all kind of getting back in the swing of things, right? And um, so I had to let the update do it. And it took like an hour and a half, and then by the time it was done, they were already jumped off. I was like, all right, so I didn't do it. And then Monday night, I jumped on for just actually, yeah, that same night later on, I jumped on for just about maybe twenty minutes just to see where everything was. But I haven't played any of the expansion. I'm probably not going to get to it until hopefully this weekend. Mm. So, but that's the only thing that I've played gaming wise. Speaking no. of updates, did everybody get their PS4 updates? And do we like the new changes? I did. No, the 4.0 firmware? Yeah. Yeah, I got it, but I haven't really explored it yet. Yeah, I, I haven't, haven't either. Done anything I think with I it prefer either. the black background versus the white notification box. Oh, yeah. I, it's kind of throwing like me off a little bit. Yeah, it, it doesn't throw me off, but I'll, I will kind of agree. It, it, you definitely notice it more with the white. And I don't, I'm sure that was their intention. So depending on if you're somebody who wants to know when people are showing up all the time, it's yeah, definitely more true. noticeable. But it it did. It kind of like, huh, that's it's I wouldn't have thought it's that they would change that. Yeah, that's yeah. the last thing I thought they would change. I enjoy the folders. I mean, it's nice to be able to manage things if that's your, your deal. The quick menu that comes up way faster for me. And plus you have quicker access to things like if you're doing a screenshot or uploading a video. You can also, if you subscribe to the, or if you use the Music Unlimited, or the mm. PlayStation Music actually is what they call it now, mm. you can access that all from the quick menu. It's really easy right. to get to, so that's nice. You that's can, great. Uh, you can kind of customize your profile, and the way that it looks, you can put like a background wallpaper, kind of like our Twitter and our, our YouTube. So like I have our picture of the four of us yeah, I love at the that. top of mine. Nice. So all that stuff's kind of fun. It's a bunch of uh, just quality of life stuff. Nothing that's super drastic. Right. But that's kind of been all of the PlayStation updates. They've just been little tweaks that make the experience better or quicker or tighter, but there's nothing like drastically changed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or that functions completely differently. All right, Chris, I meant to ask you, did you ever ask uh, (laughs) Stacey about her favorite boy band? Yeah, she did a reply on, was it Facebook or Twitter or something like that? Yeah. What was her favorite boy band? She said New Kids on the Block she used to swoon over. Nice. That's right. Yes, mm-hmm. I did That's ask her girl. in the car. And yeah, she said New Kids on the Block. Well done. Mm-hmm. She said not corn. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people said not corn. I got oops. Yeah. <laughs> Even Jonathan Davis, he replied to us on Twitter and said, yo, man, not us. <laughs> yeah, right? Never be a boy band. Never was a boy band. Never. We were all okay. <laughs> nice. That's good. Well done. You've proven your point. Go sit, please. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Sit down. Oh, I used to love my corn, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That that uh, it for you, Chris. That is it for me, Mr. Patillo. Oh Black yeah. You weather update. Go. Shoot, man. I I wasn't ready. 
we have a sink. <laughs> um, the uh, Yay. <laughs> we, we I, I think I had a sink last week, though. I don't remember where we were in the process of the kitchen. Yeah, you were no longer washing dishes in the bathroom. We were washing them in actual sink. I, I so. hope so. In the kitchen. <laughs> uh, so I kind of, I, I, since we got the ki- since we got like the kitchen functioning, I've kind of put the, I went on sabbatical. Nice. Mm. And put everything on hold. Just like, <laughs> I'm not doing anything <laughs> yeah. for like the next week. Let, for you. let my body yeah. rest for a little bit. And it, I think exactly. you should. You deserve it, man. Let my knees go back to being regular people knees instead mm-hmm. of knees where somebody crawls around for a living. Yes. And so, um, the, uh, so we got that up and going. And then last night, the dishwasher still wasn't connected to the, so you, uh, I don't know if anybody knows, but like your dishwasher, the top of your dishwasher is usually screwed into the bottom of your countertops, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Well, we don't have countertops. All we had was that plywood sitting there. So when you would pull the dishwasher, the whole thing would either scooch out or just tilt down. Right. So we still weren't using the dishwasher. And so a couple of days ago, I was like, what are we doing? So I just like got little pieces of two by four, put them on top of the plywood, screwed up into them. And so now we're using the brand new dishwasher that we bought. Good. And so that's made life way easier. Um, it was Boots' fifth birthday. Yes, oh, it yay. was. Woo-hoo! On Monday. So our little girl is five years old. And we can't believe it. That's crazy. It is crazy. And uh, so that was fun. She wanted an American Girl doll. Which, here's the thing. <laughs> uh, here we yes. go. Why even take her in there? Jenny was like, she wants an American Girl doll. I was like, that's your fault. You took her into the store. That's, of course she wants one. It's all about the experience, <laughs> baby. You have 99.9% of a mall you can go to and not go to the American Girl doll store. <laughs> not going to happen. It's, it's all the way on one end. Yep. She mm. wouldn't even know it existed. And yep. so then she was like, well, I think we're going to have her party at the American Girl doll store. And I said, Whoa. don't do that. And she was like, why, babe? It's cute and blah, 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 blah. I was like, because of all these other little girls that are going to want an American Girl doll and their parent <laughs> is going to be cussing you. It's going to perpetuate so, it. I appreciate right, you exactly. looking out for us, brother. I appreciate that. Yes, no problem. I'm trying over here. Yeah. Try so, it, it and pull a bait and switch. Save them a little bit of money and have it at uh, Build-A-Bear instead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, save them a bunch That's of money. still expensive, but it's no American Girl doll. <laughs> exactly. Well, we're having it at, <laughs> we're saving them a lot of money. We're having it at the bowling alley now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. baby. Even better. <laughs> Which couldn't be any more different. Than the American Girl doll store. I love yeah. that you go from American Girl <laughs> doll Daddy, store. Daddy, I want some shoe spray. <laughs> yeah, give me the shoe spray. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're uh, we'll be at the bowling alley this Sunday. Yes, and uh, well done, you. And here's what's interesting about it: she wants an all girl party, and so awesome. she's got guys that are friends, but they're not invited. See ya. It's really just her way to say no Remy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Me and Remy, she was like, I guess you guys can come. I was like, you guess. You guess. <laughs> Number one, I'm paying for it. Right. Number two, I, we're family. And so, um, and so uh, that, that'll be interesting uh, on Sunday coming up. And, uh, but I'm, and then we talked to a lady at uh, her school, a mom, and Jen was running down. Like she, she had came up to Jenny and said, hey, we're in for Sunday. And Jenny was like, awesome. And she was like, it'll be so much fun. The bowling alley, what a great idea. And she was, yeah, we were going to have it at the American Girl doll store. And the lady goes, oh, I'm glad you didn't do that. We wouldn't uh, be coming. Nice. I was like, see, Whoa, I told nice. you. Nice. That solidified I got your a little insight. Point. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well played, sir. Well played. Don't do that. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's really, it's a cute idea and all, but come on. <laughs> No, man. Why, no why put way. everybody through that? No. And I feel like at the bowling alley, you're going to see a, a more accurate representation of an American girl. Yes. <laughs> than the American exactly. girl doll store. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You are the cheese fries, hon. <laughs> exactly. Here's your, here's your beer, darling. <laughs> <laughs> here's your beer, darling. That's right, baby. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Who had the half and half tea? <laughs> uh, that's Gabe exactly so um, that'll be uh, something it'll be good and uh, I'm trying to think uh, that'll be something 
<laughs> you have to remember, I don't really like kids. And so, like, the whole <laughs> thing of, like, parties and, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. I go into all of them kind of like, oh, right, here we go. Yeah, yeah okay. you have to psych yourself up for it, don't you? Yes, and we're bowling and we're going and we're eating and we're bowling and we're done. <laughs> and we're out of here. Let's yeah. go home. <laughs> exactly. I got football to watch. Right. And so, I mean, it'll be fun. Um, I think the routers are coming. You guys coming? Yeah, oh, yeah, baby. We got you. So, um, it'll, you know, they'll be... I think I think Tim's going to be the only parents I know. That's fine. Really? Because yeah, all the other huh. girls are from her school. I got and you so back. I don't really I don't really know them at all. You the, and me we'll, we'll go in the quarter, we'll grab a beer exactly. and we'll watch some we'll football. Be at the arca- we'll be at the arcade. Yeah, we'll be at the arcade, arcade. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh me I'm you in. and Remy. All right, cool. There. Yep. No problem. <laughs> done and done. Need another quarter. Yeah, right. Give me another quarter. I want to play dance dance. <laughs> Be like, oh my gosh, what you know about Dance Dance Revolution? Golly, <laughs> you can barely walk song. a straight line. That's right. <laughs> um, so uh, as far as game, oh, I too did the um, Explorers Wanted. Yes, you did, sir. Had I, I did. done that already by last week? Yeah, I, don't yes. think I had. Had yeah. I done it already? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, you had done it. We talked about it on the show. Yeah, you were sweating over it, and yeah, so I haven't stopped sweating. Nice. <laughs> my days are just full of watching other people do theirs. You can't do that, yeah. man. And being depressed. You don't do that. You I can't not do great. it. How do you not do it? You don't do it. You don't do it. How? Just How? don't. How do, How do it? you not? You watch other stuff. You, you go, go play, play video game. games. Yeah, go play I some did. Clash I watched Royale Chris's. or something. I watched Chris's yeah. like nine times. There you go. That's all <laughs> and you I was need like, to do. Oh, no. It's supposed to be this good? That nah. was good, man. <laughs> Chris is looking lovingly into the camera <laughs> like he's talking to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. I felt it. I felt it. I, can, you know it? I, I can't. Felt it. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read good enough to take my eyes off the script. It's like he looked into my soul. Exactly. Wait, here, here's a little trick. I memorized it. Ooh. You did? Yeah. Because I, I, oh. I don't like I don't like reading a script, reading off of a script when I'm because I knew I was going to look at the camera because that's just the thing that I do. Like, yeah. I that's who you mm-hmm. are. Yeah, that's I don't. Are. I don't. I didn't want to got those eyes. It. It's like if I'm doing a video, I might as well look into it. And just I'm used to back in the day when I would act, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the other person. I'm interacting with that person, you know, depending on what it is. Yeah. And I don't like reading off of a script because I do that. I look up and to do whatever I'm going to do. And then when I come down, I may have lost my spot. Yeah. So I just memorized yeah. the line. So when I was looking at this thing, all I was looking at was a little description on the side of, you know, what emotion or whatever I'm supposed to be feeling during that delivery. I would nice. glance at that real quick and then deliver the line. I really appreciated nice. yours because the spacing that I was mean, the, perfect. The, the, the pacing yes. was so different from any of the other ones that I'd seen do Jordan Tate. Yeah. Hmm. So everybody else does it kind of real fast and better. Yeah. Uh, writer, isn't it? Jordan Tate. Blah, 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 blah. You know, yeah, you did great, man. I was kind of like you as well, where afterwards, not even directly afterwards, but like the next day or so, I started looking at other people's. And one of the things that um, a lot of people would say, like in comments of different people, and even in yours a lot, Gabe, is they say like, oh, that delivery really fits that world. Well, I've not played any of the Mass Effect games, so <laughs> yeah. I don't know about how it fits in the world. Yeah, And, I, man. and mm. a lot of the Jordan Tate ones specifically that I watched... To me, they felt a little theatrical, which I don't know if that's yeah. good or bad, but mm-hmm. that that's just not the way I'm not a theatrical actor. It's like, I'm not going to deliver it that way. I'm going to deliver it the way I would if this were a script for like a movie or TV. Because when I think about like The Last of Us and you, the acting in there, like oh, it's yeah. never theatrical. It's like, it's almost like I'm watching a TV show. It's or natural. Right. It's very exactly. natural. Yeah. So yeah. that's how I wanted to do it. Yeah. You never thought, oh, they're acting. It felt real. Yeah. yeah. They're the people. Yeah. And I, and I figured at the end of the day, like the the bioware they're gonna choose the people whose voice they like and the, and if they feel like oh we can we can uh this person can take direction because it's not so much specifically yeah. on how you deliver for that video it's more if they come away from that one liking the voice or thinking it fits the character and two if they feel like they can probably direct you you know because mm-hmm. nobody's yep. gonna do it exactly right mm-hmm. and i doubt they're gonna like my voice because i don't even like my voice but no dude you have honestly <laughs> dude, I, but at least i showed i, I can take up. direction i like no i liked your i liked your voice for it and you know, having played all the Mass Effects, I think any of y'all's uh, voices will will fit perfectly in some in some character in some capacity. So I think it'll it's good. Cool. So I so I've done it. Chris has done it. Ed has done it. Mm-hmm. Router's gonna get rid of this cough, and then yeah. he's gonna do it. Right? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and do it this weekend. I think if I can get rid of this cough, I'm gonna. Yeah, you got till the 28th. So okay. next 28th week is the cutoff. 
He's gonna be like, Ryder, is it Ryder? Is it? Oh yeah. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine they call me up now? Can you do that and keep coughing? Yeah, yeah. exactly. It was perfect the way you coughed. It really the way you brought life to the great. character. Yeah, exactly. The hack was, I was perfect. born for this role. That's right. I was <laughs> born for this. I was born for this, and I was sick for this. <coughs> exactly. Um, and then as far as gaming, uh, NBA Two K, Nada. Not NBA Two K Sixteen. Nice. Real wow. quick, one day. Nice. Um, I was just a guess. Yeah, I know. I should be playing seventeen. I heard seventeen is like immaculate. Like mm-hmm. they're saying, you know, how do you get better on a standard? And apparently, it's murdering it. So I talked to one of my buddies who was on the road with us this last weekend when we were up in Ohio. Got to see oh, the lighties. H. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, you nice. did. Nice on a boat. Was on a boat drinking and- coffee. Oh, right. It was so, it was so great. You guys. Nice. That's so great. It was. No, 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 so, no, no, no. So, so jealous. Great. So <laughs> like, jealous. Like, like, I, I always forget how much I love being on the water. Yeah. 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 Until you're sitting there on a boat drinking coffee. Just, we didn't even leave the marina. Nope. You don't right? have to. Just, you don't have to. Cause yeah. it was like a little rainy and windy. And so a little choppy out there. Oh, dude. Awesome. That boat. That's awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah Stacy and I have always said, like, we're getting a boat at some point. I don't think it's actually going to happen, but we've said it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's part of the dream. That's yeah, what yeah. I told. I, I called Jenny while I was on there. I was like, hey, I'm with the lighties on a boat. We're getting one. So prepare your heart. <laughs> yeah, just get ready. Exactly. Um, and I think that's about it. Uh, there's nice. probably something else, as always, but I'll remember it after the podcast. is Remy's over. still here? Remy is still here. He's he's in there in that five year old picture of Amara. It's like down in the corner. That's like who he is. That's awesome. <laughs> he's like always in the corner. Like what's up? You're like oh oh snap. You're right here. Mm. Yeah, kind of thing. How's his shoulder by the way from last week? Shoulders good, baby. Nice. Oh, bounced back. Boom. We had a miracle happen. Oh, where are you? It was. I'm giving all praise and glory to God. It literally was like we prayed and it it was gone. Wow. wow. Instantly. Nice. Like, I'd never seen anything like that happen before. It was yeah. crazy yeah. to where he was, like, cradling it and crying, and I'm praying over him. And and then I come up to do the podcast, I think. Mm-hmm. And then uh, and then uh, halfway through the podcast, Jenny brings him up, or towards the end, and he's fine. Nice. We were he's like, punching walls. He's That's like, awesome. Look. Yeah, he's like, look, I'm fine. Look, I could tear this whole bookshelf down. <laughs> he probably just went in a corner and then just threw his shoulder up against the wall, knocked it back in. Yeah, right. Back in the socket. Just like Riggs. Yep, just like yep. Riggs. <laughs> Riggs! And we're good. And then uh, we we did have to do shots yesterday. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's that fun. That was not fun. So yep. uh, Remy had to get three, and Amara had to get two. Ooh. Ooh. And it was... There's a lot oh, of sobbing man. going on, I'm sure. Oh, man. That was painful to watch as a Happy parent. Happy birthday, mm-hmm. Amara. Stick. <laughs> exactly. Right. Spe- shank. Especially yep. as, like, especially for the baby because, you know, Remy's like, wait, why are you holding my arm down? Why are you letting them? Are you letting yep. them do right. this? Yep. Why yep. are you doing you know, this to me? Yeah, exactly. He's kind of looking at you like, stop this. Like, yeah. he, they're stabbing me. Yep. Yep. And you're like, it's so you don't get polio or whatever the freak. For you your know? own good. So... Anyway, that's me. Uh, nice. Router, you got it? Oh, yeah. Well, let's do it! All right, let's do some new releases this week. We've got ourselves some Destiny Rise of Iron for the PS4 oh, yeah. and the mm. Xbox One. Uh, so they also, jealous. They also released uh, Destiny the Collection for the PS4 and Xbox yeah. One. And yeah. so that is that is out and about. And as Mr. Eduardo said, Batman Telltale Series Episode 2, Children of Arkham. Out Play that junk. PS4, Xbox <laughs> One, and PC. Uh, for all you hockey fans out there, NHL 17 Deluxe Edition. Oh. Um, Did we beat Canada last night? No, Canada. Was it last night? When I looked, it was third period, four to one Canada. 
Oh, no, that means we we're not in the World Cup. We stink this year. Yeah, we stink this year, apparently. So in that whole World Cup thing, it's a it's elimination. It's not series-based, I guess? Oh, it, I think it's still series-based because we lost to Europe, too, 3 nothing. So if we keep oh. losing, we'll be out of it. No, be out we, we had to win last night to stay in it. Yeah, so we did mm. not. To, be, to go into it or whatever. And we had to play Canada, who won it previously, so. So we're not in it. So, yeah, we're not in it. <laughs> um, NBA 2K17, PS4, Xbox One, PC. I'm starting to really doubt GameSpot sometimes because I thought I had already said that last week. But It's probably, I, I mean, they have so many different editions that come out for yeah. NBA 2K17. It's probably that. Yeah. Uh, Dear Esther, Landmark Edition for PS4 is a first-person ghost story. So, so uh, Gabe, you're all over that. Yep, no thank mm. you. Uh, yep, and uh, Severed releases for the Wii U and 3DS. Severed? Severed. Yeah. Zoinks. So guess what? We got MPD August sales. So we got some charts to talk about, people. Nice. Let's hear it. All right. Let's Very hear it. excited. They, they finally released it. So on the hardware front, yes, Microsoft's Xbox One outsold the PlayStation 4. Total hardware spending came to $178 million for the month, which is, the oh my decline, gosh. which is a decline of 6% compared to last Sheesh. year. The release okay. of the Xbox One. Because everything's old this year. Right, exactly. The release of the Xbox One S helped to generate a 37% growth in unit sales for Xbox and a 25% growth in dollar value, dollar revenue for the Xbox One. So kudos to Microsoft. I think they're they're actually getting some legs here. And uh, mm-hmm. for the second month in a row, they've beat PlayStation 4. So very wow. cool. Uh, moving on to the games. Number 10, Destiny, the Taken King. Oh, nice. Number, yeah, makes number sense. nine, Minecraft. <clears throat> with an with an asterisk <laughs> with an asterisk here, it says no digital sales. So they just that's just huh. straight up what? brick and mortar. Yeah. It when the asterisk saying sorry, the MTGG guys. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, number number eight, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Wow. Number seven, Call of Duty Black Ops Three. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Number six, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Okay. Mm. Number five, Overwatch, and that's ah, that's not yeah. including Battle.net, Battle.net digital sales. Uh, what? Okay. It's weird. Wow. Like they they have these little asterisks, and I kept them on there because, like the that's good the to know. Yeah, it's it's really like they're on it. This is great. Uh, number four, Grand Theft Auto Five. Oh, yeah, sure. Of number wow. three, here's one, Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. Well done. All right. Yeah. Mm. Number two, No Man's Sky, not including digital sales. Wow. Asterisk. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> not, not including digital sales or returns. Yeah. Or returns, exactly. So go- that's that's pretty awesome. Good for those guys. And number one, Madden NFL 17. We knew that was. Oh, right. oh there you go. yeah, oh, that yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. With old so, Gronk on the cover, right? Yes, it's right. Who's fallen prey to the Madden cover curse? Yep. Because he's hurt. He hasn't played in the regular season yet. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> that remember curse that, is real, remember, man. That curse yeah, is real. Yeah, for years that curse like actually happened every year, it felt mm-hmm. like. I think yep. it was like the early 2000s to mid-2000s. It felt like it happened every year. And then yep. it kind of went away, and now yeah. Gronk is hurt. Well, for for how superstitious sports people are, I mean, if I ever was a sports player and they're like, we're going to put you on the cover, I'd be like, no, you nope. are not. Nope, not going <laughs> to yeah, happen. I, know. I don't need that. Yeah, but they're also, they're also men. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, we're going to put you on the cover of a video game. Number one, you're going to be like, yeah. And then number two, you're going to be like, I'm not going to get hurt. Look at me, I'm freaking the Gronk. And he gets hurt. Yeah, man, but still. Yep. I, yep. I would say no. <laughs> I'd be like, no, I'm not good. <laughs> put me on the billboard for something else like Coca-Cola, yep. sure. <laughs> But I didn't get on no EA game. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. I mean, same thing happened to, they put Ronda Rousey and then Conor McGregor on the, the EA, the UFC the one. UFC. And they yep. both UFC. lost. They, both right lost. They, they said, here's going to be the cover of the game. Boom, boom. They're both boom. out. It's like, uh. That was yeah. crazy. Crazy, nah. crazy. They put Joel on the cover of The Walking Dead and he's dead now. <laughs> nice. Ah, spoiler oh, wait, spoiler alert. alert. <laughs> nice. And that's funny. He's not really dead, guys. No, it's all good. <laughs> Just in um, case somebody's looking at that, <laughs> that radio like, no, what? No, what? What? Could you imagine if we Someone dropped the something Walking like Dead that? Died? No way are we dropping <laughs> bombs like that. There's no way. The outrage pouring out after the podcast would be unbelievable. Anyway, all right, we, got a, uh, we got a few little oops. Uh, 
this wasn't an actual hashtag MTTG oops, but this was awesome. At the Radio Carter, Blake Carter, I thought the corn reference was stretching it. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, Tim. <laughs> that was great. You are correct. Yeah, yeah when I, I actually started cringing when I started, when I listened back, I'm like, dude, why would you say corn? <laughs> what is your... <laughs> What is your problem, dude? Because I got, got I got excited. all wrapped in, I got all wrapped in into the fan base and all that stuff. And I'm like, dude, they're not a boy band. What's your problem? Uh, it, so, happens. it happens. Whatever. You get excited, it happens. You start talking. I, know, yeah, I get all kinds of I get all kinds of fired up. You uh, just say words. They just exactly. And then at Evil Wonka, Wayne Mullins, uh, hashtag NTTG oops. I'm oopsie myself. O Town, All or Nothing was my favorite song growing up. Oh, the shame. <laughs> <laughs> and then. I don't even remember O Town. Uh, and then uh, at I am Droot, uh, at BreadFran35. So it's not really an NTTG oops. Record is from Inafune and the makers of Metroid Prime. Inafune worked on Mega Man. Um, and I probably needed to f- emphasize and didn't the and the makers of Metroid. Uh, so that mm. was my, that was, it was definitely my bad. I just not heard it. Yeah. yeah. And when I listened back, I said it was like Inafune and, and like, and makers of Metroid. I didn't even say it loud enough. So it was a combination. It was a cooperative gotcha. effort, basically. That makes more sense. Mm. Yes, which makes way more sense. That's it for me. Back to you guys. Chris McCracken. Tell me something good. Well, I'm not gonna. Uh, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> the last Mr. Guardian, Router. 2017. Mr. Router. <laughs> Hit me. I, I hate to burst your fractured but whole bubble. Sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. That game has been delayed. It no. Is. I didn't hear Out that. December really? to just the calendar Q1 of 2017. Right. Oh, no. First quarter? Wow. Yeah, oh, first those quarter. Fractured buttholes. Those <laughs> fractured <know>. buttholes. <laughs> I did not. When did that announcement come out? I did not hear that. Uh, it came out uh, last uh, Thursday, the day after the show. Oh, oh, oh good. Glad, it. Yeah, and it glad was, I'm on top of things. It was kind of <laughs> stealthy. It was just a small little Ubisoft like blog short note. Like it's not, it's like a paragraph. It just says huh. fractured butthole will now launch. On Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, calendar Q1 2017. Man. Oh, what a bummer. Yeah. Oh, it'll be good. Which, if you remember all the stories about the development, like the development hell that the other game went through, it's not completely You're right. like a surprise. but And it's Q1, mm. so it, and considering that it was coming out in December, like Q1 it's could gonna be, be January, it so it might be. not be very yeah. long. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, you never know. I mean, I'm already sweating with all the games I've got to play anyway, and it, that's just right. it's two yeah. other games, Watch Dogs and Dishonor. Both are going to take me pretty much through the, the end of the year anyway. So mm-hmm. I probably, I had already planned on probably not at least having that game, but not playing it until after everything else was done. But yeah, that's that stinks. But at the same time, hey, good on you. You know, if it makes for yeah. a smoother experience, yep. then that's, exactly. I'm fine get with that. that. Game, get that game yeah. cleaned up because the first one was fan- Stick of Truth was fantastic. So I'm ready for it. You guys always looking at the bright side of things. Yeah, you were talking about in the update, and I was, I almost said like, "Well, wait a minute." No, 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 that's fine. Just lead me on, Chris. Lead me on. That's great. Yeah. Just withhold information from me while I'm pouring out my soul on my update. That's great. I'm no just problem. I'm just glad that somebody's already tweeted an oops, and then they'll hear this part, and they're like, "Oh, dang it!" Yeah, I know. Exactly. Right? Now I have to retract my yeah. Oops. Retract that oops, people. Delete, delete. <laughs> yep. Nice. All good. Uh, well, let's see. What about some good news? Yes, please. That Destiny the Collection bundle mm-hmm. is only 60 bucks, and it includes everything. Oh, really? Including the just-released Rise of Iron. Oh, wow. Which is $30 by itself. Oh, nice. That is so good you get news. The, the base game, the Dark Below, House of Wolves, the Taken King, and Rise of Iron for $60. Holy cow. And your character gets a boost, so you can... Uh, level up a little faster to try to catch up with your friends if you're just joining the fray. Mm -hmm. And listen, Mm -hmm. I haven't played Destiny in a long time. Okay. But when I did play it... you're about to. Yeah, I know, right? When I did play it, though, I loved it. Yeah. So I'm encouraging anybody who likes FPSs and uh, community to jump onto Destiny. We've got a lot of Married to the Games people that play uh, that are still playing that'll hold your hand and level you up. And so I, I would say do it. And the, and two, just for a note, the rise of iron, at least the collection. I don't know if this is period with the rise of iron, but it's only on PlayStation four and Xbox one. Yes. 
So, uh, do they have the Rise of Iron at all for PS3, Xbox 360? No, this is the first expansion where they said, all right, PS3 and Xbox One or, or PS3 and Xbox 360 are Left done. Left of the dust. Yeah, wow. the end of their road was the Taken King. There you go. So, that's, that's, I felt like that was a little good news. When I saw it, I was like, do I need to buy that? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I really, really loved my time in the Destiny universe. Yeah, that could be a, that could have been a good movie when we were talking about oh, movies right. that could have been games that could be made into good movies. Yeah, does that have true. a uh, a campaign or is that strictly a multiplayer? It's strictly multiplayer, but there is a campaign to where you can play by yourself, mm-hmm. but you'll constantly see people. Okay, right. Just people all around you jumping in. Yeah, it's yeah. always on. It's an always online game. So okay. Yeah. Man, how did it feel, Chris, to just jump back in for a little bit? Good? I mean, it it felt okay. I didn't do any of the actual, I didn't go to a planet and shoot anything. I didn't have time. to. I was going to the different uh, home worlds because I knew I was going to have a bunch of stuff I had to turn in or all these little green dingy things everywhere saying, come look at me, come look at me. So I, yeah, I went exactly. to go kind of mess around with that. I looked in my vault to see what I still have and what I might need. Gotcha. And, I really wanted to play like if it would have been downloaded in rest mode and I could have played, we would have done like, I'm sure some missions and everything, but I just didn't get a chance to do it. Yeah. Gosh, loved that game. Like I'm so be- far behind now, like with the light and all this. Well, not stuff. really because like with the boost, like there's going to be a boost to get you up to a, a high enough level to do the, the rise of iron missions. Cause you'll need to be like a certain level to do that. And if you're just starting from zero, you won't be there. So there'll be right. a way to boost you up pretty quick. But I wonder if I would to use a character I already had. Yeah, there should be something that'll boost you up to a high enough level to get you there. And then you should be able to do just a couple things. The thing is, is that the way they've changed it all about, at least back when I was still playing, the level cap, like you reach it super quick. And that's really all that you have to right. have to do certain things. And then everything after that is the light level, which is a totally separate number now. In the early days, right. you had to get to level cap and then light was it was the same number, but it would go up from there. It would be light level. Now they're two yes. separate numbers. Okay. So, I mean, mm. you could get there pretty quickly. I'm not going to say you could jump right in and then go straight to rise of the iron mission, but right, it right, right. probably wouldn't take as long as you think it would take. Mm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mm. But anyways, there you that. go. Give us something else, Christopher. All right. So we're going to talk about the Xbox Scorpio. Ooh, yes. According to Microsoft Studios publisher, publishing general manager, Shannon Loftus, the Microsoft developed Xbox Scorpio games will render natively in 4K. That's what I hear. Not be mm-hmm. upscaled to that figure. That's pretty bad. She said specifically her quote was any games we're making that we're launching in the Scorpio time frame, we're making sure they can render at it. Uh, uh, they can natively render at 4K. And Ooh, that is you need all them teraflops. Yeah, that's <laughs> just uh, Microsoft jumping more and more on, you know, the opportunity to differentiate themselves because mm-hmm. that's in contrast with uh, Andrew Pisa House, who did an Pro. interview with Digital Spy. And he, yeah. he said he confirmed that the majority of PlayStation Pro PlayStation 4 Pro titles will be upscaled to 4K instead right. of running natively at that resolution. Now, there's a little right. bit of hubbub about, well, if you read a little bit more into that that interview, the context, it looks more like he was saying the game's launching with it will be upscaled. So you could say, oh, maybe he's taken out of context. But no, he's not. The, the majority of games are going to be upscaled. Mm. And then here's the thing. So when the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 dropped, there was all this kind of hubbub, if you will, amongst, you know, fanboys where they were like, oh, PlayStation 4 is hitting 1080p on majority of games and Xbox One's not able to do it on all of them. There's a resolution right. difference. And you'd get the people that say, you can't tell the difference. And then you get other people say, but yes, you can. And I want the best resolution in that war. If you will, I always fell on, I had both consoles, so it didn't really matter, but I was always like, yeah, if I can have better resolution, that's what I want. It's the same thing with this. The, the slight difference is that maybe it'll be different a year from now when Scorpio comes out. But at the moment, almost nobody is seeing the benefit of this because the vast majority of people don't have 4k televisions. Right. <laughs> so, right. Right. At the moment, if you're still playing on a 1080p screen, it doesn't matter that the game can be in 4K. You're not seeing a benefit of that. Exactly. You, yeah. If yeah. your TV doesn't have HDR, which if you're on a 1080p screen that's probably older, you don't, you're not going to see the benefit of that either. The real benefit is going to come in with better frame rates and better loading times and that mm-hmm. kinds of stuff. And even in that avenue, the Scorpio should, in theory, be better. But the PlayStation 4 is going to do well for what it is, you know, for people who want it. 
because most people aren't going to see it in 4K anyways. So right. But now a year from now, 4K TVs may be super prevalent because I'm expecting them to sell like hotcakes this this oh, holiday season. Oh, this Christmas, they're already yeah, yeah. cheap. They're already yeah, they are. They're cheap. And they're going to drop even more. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a 4K TV. I won't see you clearly, baby. <laughs> baby. This Christmas. <laughs> Love it, baby. Love that. Listen, here's Gosh, the thing. You know, that's my favorite Christmas song of all time. Oh, right? we know. We know. That bro. song is so so good. good. It feels amazing. So here's the thing. So I was uh, listening to P.S. I Love You this past week, and Colin Moriarty said it the best. And uh, this is my thing, too. It's like, I don't know why everybody's jumping on the this 4K bandwagon. It all comes down to the games. The games could be in 4K, 2K, 1K, whatever. But if the game design isn't there, if the game story isn't there, if the game functionality isn't there, you're we're wasting our time. Because right. a, a game could look great, but if we don't like the way it plays, we don't like the story, we don't like any of that, then it, it it's pointless. I don't understand why the, there's such this bandwagon for both of these companies just to be jumping over HDR, 4K, like all this stuff. It doesn't matter a hill of beans to me. Me personally, it means yes. a hill of beans because for me, it is about the gaming experience. If it's a great game with a great story and it plays well, combat's good, controller feels good, that's all I care about. So yeah, it kind of like, shows you like the, the prevalence of Minecraft and then like kind of exactly. how uh, the Order 1886 kind of came up short. Exactly. Yeah. Like to where it was a very short game, but looked incredible. It looked incredible, and then but that Minecraft's that got this eight bit thing going on and selling millions and millions of copies. Exactly. There, there are probably people excited to play Minecraft on 4K. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It'll be glorious. And here's the thing I understand because I know people are rolling their eyes right now. I understand Minecraft and Order 1886 are two totally different concepts right. of yes. game, even. And exactly. one is made to be played for a long time, and one was just made as a short game. I'm just ma- making the point that yes. yep. it doesn't matter what it looks like. Yeah, is, exactly. Is what, is what you're saying, I, Tim, right? I, I, yeah, what, I'm th- what I'm saying is I think these companies are forgetting that games come first. I know that they want the best experience, and I know that they want their hardware to be you know, as banging as it can be. But to have an hour-long com- you know, meeting, slap, quote, meeting, whatever you want to call that press conference, just to talk about the specs of 4K, HDR, and how the PS Pro, uh, PlayStation Pro is going to do this, this, and this. I don't care. What I want right. to know is when is The Last of Us 2 coming out? What I want to <laughs> know is, <laughs> yeah. you know, what new exciting games do you have? Like, what different genres of game? I love that we saw a little bit of Mass Effect. I wanted to see more, but that's what was, that's what I took away from that entire thing was, oh, let's look at the games. You know, and uh, Horizon Zero Dawn look, looked great, awesome. That's what I care about. I don't care about anything else because, to be honest, I'm not going to know if it's in 60 frames or 30 frames, and I don't really care. As long as it plays and it doesn't <laughs> glitch, is it doesn't glitch for me, I'm good with it. So, yeah, I, I think I think the developers need to step up now and be like, look, we can talk 4K all we want, but this is how we're developing our games, and we want to have a general great user experience for everybody, regardless of what console and TV they have. And mm-hmm. I think that's what's going to save Sony at the end of the day. I hope so. Um, because I, one of the things I brought up was I, I hate, or one of the stories I was looking at is it sucks that Sony, they're like PS4 Pro or Xbox One S. And you're like, gosh, should those even be being compared? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Since the Scorpio's not here yet, mm-hmm. you know, we don't, we won't have that comparison until next year. Right. But I think with PlayStation getting the jump on quote unquote 4K gaming, uh, that's, uh, but also being the weaker of the two consoles, it's going to all fall on the games in those first party, you know, mm-hmm. situations, you know, yes. The Last of Us and things like that. You know, when they if they're able to bring out the big guns and Naughty Dog's able to pump something out in like the next year and a half, you know, that'll be the bigger deal next holiday season then nobody's going to be talking about 4k 4k or hdr at that point they're going to be talking about the actual game which is the way it should be yes we Mm -hmm. do need a console that will be able to play these games that will be able to function correctly and not like uh, you know i keep going back to uh, like the wolf among us like that game was so glitchy (laughs) that i still i still loved it that game but i hated i hated playing it because i knew it was going to be glitchy and is batman that glitchy at all 
You know, it's funny. In the very first part, there was it's during a dream sequence, and I was like, "Is this a glitch or is this part of the animation?" <laughs> nice. And by the end, I was like, "No, that's a glitch." But it just uh, hap- it just happened one time. But still, I was surprised that it did happen. Right. Right. But, and, but and, nothing and since point, then. No, nothing since then. And at this point, it, like at with what the, with the consoles we have currently, there shouldn't really be a whole lot of glitches. So that's that's on the developers to make sure that they have that that put together. But all this yeah. other stuff, like I'm done. I, I could care less about any of this 4K HDR talk at all. When my PS4 goes down, I'll, you know, I'm probably get a Pro. I may just get a Slim, but because I don't care about any of this. But I'll probably mm-hmm. want the better of the two, so I'll probably go Pro. But like, I'm not even thinking, considering that right now, because I've got OG PlayStation 4, totally happy with it, having a great time with the games I'm playing now. Yep. See, here's the thing. Oh. Yes, what Colin said makes perfect sense. And what you're saying makes perfect sense. But the thing is, is that Scorpio and PlayStation 4 Pro and anything else that comes out down the road, those aren't for you because they know you don't care. And they don't care that you don't care. They're for people like me who actually care about, (laughs) like, I'm going to get a 4K TV. Now, this is slightly different because, you know, I'm a video guy and things like resolution matters I am getting a 4K TV too, Jack. And I'm right there with you, Bishop. So... uh, I, but you're in the me, minority, the in my that opinion. I would do it here. Yeah, the, uh, but here's the thing. I am in the minority, but I'm a market. And oh, Sony sure. and Microsoft want to sell to me. And so I'm the person that they're selling to. It's kind of like if, you know, somebody says like, man, I just don't care about electric cars. They're dumb. I like my motors and everything. It's like, cool. Tesla's not selling to you. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, so I, I, I get his point. I get your point. And th- it's all very valid. And being like, hey, I'm just good with my my PS4 yep. or my OG Xbox One. Totally cool and valid. But it seems like too many other people. Colin one, in my opinion, is kind of the same way. They're getting too hung up on like, oh, but we don't need more and more. It's like the better that the hardware gets, the more tools the place the developers have. Exactly. And potentially the better experiences we're going to have. Now, he he's very much an old school gamer. He he's is, like, yes. he, like his favorite game of all time is Mega Man. Yep. He's very much into all that stuff. And I'm not saying like I'm not one of those people who are like old games are crap and new games are all better. But for me personally, kind of like you were saying, I enjoy most of the games from the PS3, PS4 generation more than I like the older games that I played when I was younger. I mean, I have fond memories of a lot of them, but like when I'm sitting down to play a game, I don't want to play an old game. I'm sorry. They just don't do much for me anymore. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand Mm -hmm. the history and I enjoyed them back in the day. And there's a handful of ones that I do have nostalgia for and I like to play. But for the most part, I like moving forward. And newer, better hardware is going to help us move forward because it lets the developers do more. Look at all the open world games we have now. Now, yep. that's a whole other conversation. Are open world games any good? Because some right. people think that's a bad thing that, that we have all these open world games. But you can't have that without the hardware that we have now. So me personally, the way that I would do it, I would just make it to where, hey, every three years we have a brand new console. Yep. I don't necessarily think we have to have this. OK, PlayStation 4 is out. We have the lower tier and the higher tier. We have the iPhone 6 and the 6S. I don't think we need to have that. That's the direction it's going. My personal preference would be to just, hey, every three years, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 6, Xbox 4. But people would still complain about that as well. You want it that quick? Three, uh, four years? Yeah, I'm fine yeah, with that. Man, the, that doesn't te- matter to me. The technology's wow. there to do that now. It's not like we're not going to have an eight-year gap like we did for the for the PS3 and Xbox 360. The technology's there. Like It's it's all right there, ready to go. So I, I agree. I think three to four years, every a new console, I'm fine with that. That's totally fine. Because here's the thing. I feel like that's going to happen anyways. Yeah, yeah that'll, start, that'll right. start jacking up community like a beast unless they get some more cross-platform play going on. Where yeah, the PS4 guys mm-hmm. can play with the PS5 guys. You know what I mean? Because yeah. majority of people won't be able to keep up with that kind of scheduling. Yep, it's going. They're all they're doing is they're just evolving as much as they can while still being their closed ecosystems, if you will, to be like the PC. Because right now, PC, you know, you can have you can have your setup where you can do VR, but everything's on medium settings or whatever. And then your buddy down the street's got everything on Max Ultra. But right. you can both still play the same game, or if it's a game that, you, like, uh, let's say Battlefield, for instance, you can both play together, even though he's technically having the better experience, you know, if you're one to one it like that, you can still say play the same game. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. what the console makers are trying to get to. They're trying to get to a point where they just make all this different hardware, you make the decision which one you want, and then you just play the game. And yes, the better hardware is going to play the games better in certain sure. ways, but right. it's, you know, if you want to pay the premium, you do that. 
Yeah, and I, yeah. I get why people don't like that. They're like, I liked it back in the day when there was just one choice, you know, on this platform or this one, and just the one choice. And I get that. The simplicity is is beautiful. That's why I like consoles. But, but with today's technology, that won't happen anymore. Like, you can still get your basic simple one, but there will always be a something else that will have something better. And that's just that's just the way technology goes. It's it's constantly evolving. Every year it evolves. Why do you think we get a new iPhone every year? So it's I, I'm with you, man. It's, <laughs> Two it's new totally iPhones fun. every year. Exactly. But the, the the issue for me is that you know the number one game last the selling game last month was Madden NFL. That's your general consumer gamer that loves you know football, and that's pretty yeah. much all they get every year. So they're not mm-hmm. catering to those people at all. Nor 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 should they. You're right. There is a market for these people. I'm just saying. I think everyone's i i feel like it, there's just a waterfall of all this stuff with 4k hdr and it's just it just keeps coming and and to that i say i don't care you know it doesn't it doesn't really matter to me and i think they're making a bigger issue out of it than than they should i the, think they're just trying to get ahead of it because they they know we all know what happened when 1080p hit the market right and that's the exact same thing that's going to happen when 4k hits next Shh, christmas sure, it's sure. Gonna, i mean this christmas and next christmas is going to be 4k heaven and so yeah me and Chris might be in the minority right now, but we'll definitely be the yeah, majority. Yeah, it's gonna. It will next definitely. Christmas. It will definitely evolve. You are correct. That's just the way. So it I goes. think they're just trying to beat that out the gate. You know what I'm saying? They're like, if we could provide 4K content before everybody goes out and gets these 4K TVs, then we'll be ahead of it a little bit. It's also going to come down to pricing, though. And you know, we can like the Scorpio sounds amazing, and it sounds like it's going to be great. But guess what? It sounds really freaking expensive. Yeah, yeah it will we'll be. See, huh? So it's one of those things where I it, that doesn't. That doesn't appeal to me anyway, because I know that's going to be super Too expensive. expensive. And but like we said last week, that is going to cater to the the more advanced and hardcore gamer who may not want a PC, but and wants to stay within the console realm. And that what that will probably be their choice. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Very good stuff, man. This is good. Yeah. Chris, what else you got? Ed's asleep, but it's all good. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. Ed and I are like, it's great because we've got two people who are like, yeah, 4K, 4K, 4K. And then you got two people <laughs> that are like, we don't care. So it's, I love it. I, I love do this. care more about the games. And I think yes, Chris does do too. too. Yeah, but I there's do. definitely, of course. A, there's definitely like the, if I, like when I walked through, I forget where we were, maybe Walmart or Best Buy. And I just turned, I like, I had Jenny look over. I was like, just. Take that in for a minute. Yep, yep. That looks amazing as we went by the 4K television. Soak it in. And she was like, and she goes, I could be down for that. I was like, that's why I love you. Yay. Nice. So we're definitely, you know, making the jump. I don't know what content we're going to play on there besides Netflix. And some YouTube videos, but still. But we go play the heck out of Netflix videos. That's right. (laughs) That Netflix is going to look good. Yeah. Every time somebody comes over, I'm going to put it on demo mode. Yeah. My brother like, oh. and uh, some other people that we know have 4K TVs. And again, because there's not ton amount, a ton of content, like when you're just watching regular television, all that broadcast is usually at 720p. Yeah, right. It's being upscaled on their 4K TV. And I was thinking, eh, it's probably going to look like crap. It doesn't. It actually looks really good. I don't know. Mm, and, yeah, and the I mean, HD I still channels. Want, I still would rather have native 4K uh, content. But sure. for the upscaling, I'm like, huh, I'm impressed with how good it looks. I thought it was going to look really jaggedy and or really smoothed over because, you know, a lot of times a lot of yes. TVs have that. They really smooth things. And it's like, no, nah, I don't want my people looking plastic. But it actually looks pretty dang good. And I was like, nice. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm cur- I'm curious about this holiday season, how many like 4K TVs are going to be sold. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure it's going to be a buttload. Yeah. Um, the University of California, Irvine mm-hmm. is catering to them gamers. Ooh. They uh they have started their own esports arena. Huh. Ooh. They've uh they're starting to give out scholarships for uh what are they calling it? Science. Oh gosh, what is it called? Science. It's called the computer game <laughs> computer computer game science. They're offering degrees in computer game science. Sweet. And uh which is all about building games. They just started this they got all these computers uh donated it's it's crazy i mean you have to go look check out the pictures university of california irvine uh it's all uh powered by uh i buy power and hmm. they have 70 high end gaming computers and they're just lined up on these tables and they've got these really comfortable looking chairs i think the chairs wow. by themselves go for $200 $300 sorry and uh the computers run about $2000 each Wow. And uh, but they were all donated 
And uh, so they got them for free. And uh, they got headphones with mics on them and everything like that so people can be gaming with each other. And their whole thing is to build up um, their gamer base and get more gamers in there that are going to be creating games. Mm. They want to be... Um, they say that if you go to any of the bigger developers, there's a UCI graduate uh, in there. Um, and so they're going to charge $4 an hour for people to use it outside of uh, the education side of things. Um, but these, I mean... <laughs> This place looks like gamer heaven. Like the way they have it lined up. Wow, you're like, nice. I want to go there. I'll yeah. definitely pay four dollars an hour. <laughs> right. And so they're just really focusing on uh, the gamers over there, and they're going to get like a a coach, like a professional, a seasoned professional player that's done a lot of uh, esports, and uh, try to create a team that will go and compete at wow. the level of everybody else. So you know, just like. A college team's got a basketball and a football yeah. team. They're going to have NCAA an NCAA gaming, baby. Here we go. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Can I get it's... a bachelor's degree in Let's Play? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. So um, they, they will have some <laughs> consoles there as well, but they're focusing a lot on uh, on the computer side of things. So I Very thought that cool. was really dope. Nice. I want a minor in trolling. Uh. <laughs> I'll minor in headshots. Uh, I like it. Chris, what else you got, Doc? So the Battlefield 1 beta was EA's largest beta to date now. They had 3.2 million never played players it. to play across all platforms. Oh, and the previous, that's awesome. Uh, the previous um, one for them was uh, Star Wars Battlefront. They had 9 million players on that one, so this one beat out Star Wars Battlefront. Interesting. Wow. 13 million. That's yeah. a bunch. Yeah, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. And I was one of them because I enjoyed the heck out of that game. Yeah, I was wondering. And they put too. out this this fun little infographic that just gives other like shows uh which classes were used the most, how many melee kills there were. There were twenty eight point nine million melee kills. Oh my gosh. What class wow. was used the most? The class that was used the most was assault, which you would probably expect. It's the default. Like when you first go in. Most people yeah, if they're trying to beta probably just gonna play whatever. It, mm. it yeah, was yeah, assault, yeah. then scout, then support, and the very last was medic. Only ten percent did medic. Oh, interesting. Yeah, which is crazy because huh. I think I did medic the most. Did you really? Oh, yeah, no. you did do medic because I remember you not coming and getting me when I was down. <laughs> nice. Well, <laughs> so I was like, fam- Chris, Chris, Chris. He was like, I don't know what button to push. I was like, the, the get up button. The, the one that wasn't a get up button. And number two, it's it, like you would expect <laughs> it to say like, put a little a little thing on the bottom of your screen or something that says like, so-and-so is asking for help. And it does, but it's like so small and down in the corner that if he hadn't said anything, I never would have seen it. Oh, wow. Yes. I was like, oh, okay. And then I get over there. I'm pushing every button and he just dies. I'm like, ah, well, I'll figure it out next time. <laughs> medic, schmedic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nice. <laughs> medic, schmedic. Uh, there's a new Resident Evil trailer. Mm-hmm. Did you watch uh, it? Yes. Further, e- further cementing the fact that I will not be playing that crap. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so scary. It's got a family in this one. The the Baker uh the Baker family. Hmm. And uh they're eating something and trying to force you to eat it, and it is it is it is ratchet. Ratchet. <laughs> ratchet. Look at that. <laughs> uh Chris, are you still uh I went back, I don't know why I watched it, but I went back and saw our us responding to Resident Evil 7? Yes. And talking about playing this game. Do you mm-hmm. think that you'll play it? No. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Any reason? I, I'm not a scary game person either. Oh, well, I'm definitely okay. not doing it in VR. But yeah, like horror stuff is not... Like, I'll dabble with it here and there. Like, whenever uh, PS4 first came out, I think in the, one of the first couple months, the PS Plus game was uh, Outlast. Yeah. I downloaded it because it was free, and I tried it, and I played, like, Maybe 15 minutes and then Gadget Point is like, nope, I'm done. So <laughs> I know nice. that's right, Doc. It's just not I don't I don't get joy out of being scared. I'm in t- so like funny. tense the whole time. Yeah, that's not that's not enjoyable to me. <laughs> I might be able to get Sarah to play that. Uh, Resident Evil 7? She loves scary games. Nice. What is wrong with her? I don't <laughs> know, man. She loves being scared. Oh my gosh. I don't know about that business. That ain't right. <laughs> Chris, you got anything else, buddy? Uh, yeah, so in Poland, they're going to put the Witcher, Geralt, on a stamp. No way! Geralt. Yeah, it's going to be a stamp that you can purchase. If not already, it might already be out. 
That's awesome. Yeah, they put the uh, the developers, uh, one of the developers from CD Projekt Red put out an image on Twitter showing the stamp. It actually looks really cool. <laughs> I want one. Hashtag Witcher Licker. Yeah, Witcher exactly. Licker. Witcher Licker. Nice. Jeez. Oh, That's hilarious. That's really cool. That's I awesome. Like that. I didn't and see then, that. That's uh, it's a shame you guys never played had... that game. Yeah. <laughs> or never finished it, I should say. Yeah, I didn't play it. No, I know. It's good. I w- it's not because I didn't want to. I just, you know. It's just too much. It too looks much. too daunting. And every time I hear more and more about how big it is, it's like, on the one hand, yeah, that can definitely be a positive. But on the other hand, oh my gosh, that's scary. It's yeah, like, exactly. Mm-hmm. I even want to open that door. Mm-hmm. Um, and one other thing that I had is the the Pokemon company has come out and said that they are doing a game for the NX. Oh, which is Niantic? Uh, no, no, no. Just the Pokemon company. Oh, oh, is the a Pokemon developer. Company. Yeah, yeah. The Pokemon. They said uh, the NX is trying to change the concept of what it means to be a home console device or a handheld device before adding uh, we will make games for the NX. Hmm. So it's kind of crazy because even though it is like this hybrid thing, but there's never been a Pokemon on like a proper console. It's always been on handheld stuff. So That's it's, right. depending on how oh, the wow. NX plays out, this is kind of a, a could potentially be a big step for them. Yeah. Though. Nice. I like that. Plus that more confirms because it's coming from a developer that because right now it's only been like a back and forth like it's going to be a handheld hybrid like that's all the rumors and everything but there's been no official word. Well this seems to say officially that it is going to be a home slash handheld hybrid thing. Hmm. There you go. I like it. Eduardo. Yes sir. What is going on over on the YouTube channel doc? Well, like we mentioned earlier, new this week on the YouTube, we've got uh, Lego Dimensions Doctor Who Part 1 and 3, 1 through 3. Has that been fun? That was a lot of fun, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lego Dimensions Ghostbusters Parts 1 through 3. Was that Uh, fun? That was also a lot of fun. Yeah, it, it was It was just funny because Sarah has seen the old school Ghostbusters, but it's been a while. She didn't watch it a million times like I did as a kid. No, oh, heck sure. yeah. So like when Dana opens the fridge and Zool is inside her refrigerator, she was like, did Lego do that or did that actually happen in the movie? Or did, are they just being ridiculous? I was like, no, that happened in the movie. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Uh, let's see, Recore parts one through eleven may or may not be the end of that. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you think? Do you see yourself revisiting it? I man, I want to, but I, I don't. I, I'll just have to wait to see if those loading screens, maybe like you guys mentioned, a patch comes down or something, because that's really st- what's stopping me. Yeah, definitely look you. look it up and see uh, if you're having it. I'm sure if you're having those issues, I'm sure other people are too. So. Oh, they are. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, Chris McCracken explores wanted his audition was up there this week. Nice. And Batman, the telltale series, episode two epi- episodes, one through six. That's all up there as well. Nice. Um, nice. Top 10 YouTube videos, combined average watch time and views for the week of September 13th through 19th. Number 10, Hugh part 10 university. Mm. Ooh. Number nine, Chris McCracken explores wanted. Yeah, hey. buddy. There we go. In the top Chris. 10. Yeah, doc. Number eight, Lego Dimensions, Doctor Who, The Dalek Extermination of Earth, Part Two. Oh, nice. wow. That's a mouthful. <laughs> that that's is a mouthful. No, you, right. you mean Tyler Perry Presents? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Number seven, Lego Dimensions, Doctor Who, The Dalek Extermination of Earth, Part One. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Number six, Lego Dimensions, Doctor Who, The Dalek Extermination of Jeez, Earth, Part Louise. Three. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Number five, say it with me, Ori in the Blind Forest, part 14. Thornfell Swamp! Nice. <laughs> wow, that was a mess. That was. Thank you, Lag. Uh, <laughs> number four, Gabe and Chris react to Resident Evil 7. What? Yeah. Oh, we got knocked off the podium, yeah, Chris. Yeah, we did. Shoot, we're the first losers. <laughs> <laughs> the first guys without a medal. <laughs> number three, Hugh, part 11, the ending. Number two, Recore Part One, Iron Fang. Oh. And number one, Gabe, get your gold medal. It's Gabe's Explorers Wanted nice. Audition. Oh, hey. <laughs> People are loving that audition. The Tough Mercenaries up there on the podium. Right? Oh, man. Nice. Me and Chris will swap next week. I, just, I got a whole yeah. week jump on Chris, so. There you go. That's why. Nice. 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 Good job, everyone. Good job, everybody. Uh, well, every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different. We asked you, what video game do you believe would make the best movie? Starting over at the forum, Tigsta 
He said, well, after looking at my TV and seeing the Magnificent Seven trailer mm. and looking mm-hmm. at my shelf and I see my copy of Red Dead Redemption, mm. I'm thinking Western. There you I can go. see this being adapted for a movie. I see Josh Brolin playing John Marston. Mm. Ooh. He also played in No Country for Old Men, The Goonies, yep. Sicario, or Sicario, and Gangster Squad. Yeah. Josh Brolin. Yeah. It's very uh, specific. Well done. Yeah, he thought, exactly. He, he definitely thought it out. Alcor said, always wanted a Castlevania movie. Ooh. Oh, there you go. There were some rumors years back about one in development, but guess the project never took off. After franchise, another franchise that I could really, wait, another franchise that could work really well is Metroid. Hmm. Space opera with a female lead. I like it. Andrew Chung said, I think, I've never heard of this game, so I'm probably going to butcher how it's said. Sweet. I think Mabin, Mabinogi would make a good source material for a really great movie. It has a lot of interesting Celtic themes to pull from, and I would not mind having Hanston giving uh, it a go in, a composing, in composing again ever since he left the game music to be taken by someone else. Hmm. I'm so lost right now. (laughs) (laughs) Over on Twitter, action J at action underscore J. They should make a movie based in the legacy of Kane slash soul reaver universe. Great world building with lots to explore. I Hmm. totally agree with that. Steven Miller at weight of joy. Wind waker in the art style of samurai Jack. I love that. Samurai Jack had a very cool art style. Hmm. Uh, Mike BC at Mike BC 1985. Goat Simulator. Just kidding. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Xeno Saga for PlayStation 2 had an amazing story and would make a great, would make a good movie or Lego Dimensions. Oh, there you so go. We kind of got a Lego movie. Uh, Delvin Cox at Delvin underscore Cox. If done right, Outlast could be a good low budget horror film. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. That I definitely would not be playing. <laughs> yeah. Or watching. You're the starring role. <laughs> yeah, just my hands. I am a black hand model. You are a black hand model. <laughs> just for those that uh don't remember. Uh and that's it. Thank you guys so much for answering our questions. You know where to find us. Facebook.com slash married to the games, twitter.com slash mttg cast, facebook.com slash did I already say Facebook? Probably. Married to the Games, just in case you forgot. Married to the Games.com. Come (laughs) check out the forum. YouTube.com slash Married to the Games. Come check out uh, me and Chris doing our Bioware contest. Give it a like. Help a brother out. If somebody from this show gets on that game, Mm -hmm. I'll I'll start running. You'll play Resident Evil 7? No. You There's won't? the challenge. <laughs> Resident Evil 7? Oh, man. I don't know. That's too deep. That's too deep for me. <laughs> we'll come up with something. I'll okay. do something silly. I'll do something crazy. I mean, Res- it might have to be Resident Evil 7. That's pretty crazy. <sighs> I mean, I didn't even like watching the commercial. <laughs> so awesome. I love that. Like, when I went back and watched our reaction to it, <laughs> I was I lo- like, yeah, that's I meant all that. I was scared then. I love yep. how stressed you are just thinking about playing. I know, it. man. You're like already <laughs> stressing over it. It's amazing. It's oh, Lord have mercy. All right. Uh, Chris? Rate us on iTunes so that we can make Ed and Router care about 4K. <laughs> yes, sir. Well played. Oh, well, let's get into some questions. to start off with some email and i do have to give a huge shout out to my boy jamian he emailed me uh yesterday and challenged me on some of the comments that i had said last week regarding colin kaepernick and uh he's been in the military served uh for over 20 plus years so i just want to say a big shout out to you thank you for the email thank you for the challenge uh i emailed him back and uh it's just been a really good conversation and 
that's what I love about this country. It's amazing. We can uh, agree to disagree, but still respect one yeah, another. So, man. Shout out to you, man. That's really cool. I didn't want to bring it up on the podcast because it, it's been all over the news anyway, and we're just rehashing back and forth. So, uh, But I just wanted to personally shout out to him on that. Uh, here we go. Lucas Ham. Happy International Banana Festival Day. What? Let, let's celebrate the one. International. International. And he's he's in Brazil, man, so he's we got man, our international not just, not contact just right there. Right. Uh, let's celebrate the wonders of bananas because besides being tasty, you don't have to wash them to eat them clean, and they already come with a natural, easy access pull string. So first <laughs> I never so, thought about the washing thing. Yeah, yeah. it's true. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. So first question, what would be your favorite video game that has an ample supply of bananas or fruit in general, such as Fruit Ninja or even Pac-Man? Mario Kart. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Love that. Yes, let's do that. I'm, I'm, I'm going, going Donkey Kong Country. I'm going nice. nope on that. I'm going yeah. nope. <laughs> you are crazy. That's a I'm good go, game. I'm going with Ed. I'm going to say uh, Mario Kart. Yeah, I am with Ed on that one too, by the way. Uh, for the second question, what is your favorite way to eat bananas? Outside of the natural way, of course. My go-to is banana bread. Sorry if some of you haven't eaten breakfast or if you don't even like bananas. At least it's just one day. <laughs> uh... I really like the um, banana peanut butter sandwich with oh, some honey situation. Yes, mm, sir. Yes, nice. sir. Oh, Lord. That's all, that's all I made, Lauren. Uh, I think like when we when Piper was first born and we were just kind of stuck in the house for the first month, like I basically fed her peanut butter, honey, and like really thinly sliced bananas and yes. like laid it all out on the bread. Oh, my gosh. So good. Nice. Love that. Love it. Uh, Ed? Did anybody else say how? They, yeah. Ed, how do uh, you like bananas? I, I put them in, uh, in a smoothie, and I like those yeah, a lot. There, there you go. go. Smoothie, yeah. smoothie. <clears throat> Mr. Chris? I actually really like bananas, and I like, well, I like the, the bread and the smoothie idea. I've put them in smoothies and stuff before. Probably my favorite way is banana pudding. Ooh, Ooh I love nice. banana. Some good banana pudding. And Stacy's allergic to bananas, so we don't. Oh, really? Oh, I mean, she'll still make. She's made banana bread and stuff for me before, and I always tell her, "Don't do that," because I don't want her touching them. Even how you know? can you be allergic to? <laughs> yeah, bananas? how are you allergic to? I've never heard. I don't know. That's a bummer. That but seems like is, a very yeah. rare allergy. Mm-hmm. So we don't get to share the love of banana. The love pudding, of banana. Oh my gosh, it's so. Throw good. some Nilla wafers up in that piece. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes, boy. Right. Now you're talking. Oh shoot. I've actually been having uh, for breakfast. I've been having oatmeal with uh, chopped up bananas in it. So that's oh that's, nice. That's go. my go. Very that's nice. my go-to breakfast right now too. So that's awesome. Happy International Banana Festival Day, everybody, and thank mm-hmm. you, Lucas, for always delivering on on those. Uh, Dan from Chicago, Chicago. What do you think the price for Mario Run should be? I'm thinking no more than seven ninety nine. What's your opinion? Seven ninety nine. I don't think no. ten dollars or more is a reasonable asking price for a mobile game. Do you think there is a price that's too high for Nintendo in the mobile market to ask? Thanks for all you do. Your show is the one I really look forward to each week. Ah, uh, dude. Did I? It could be seven ninety nine. Did I say that it's free? And then, the, and then, then you'll. It's coming out. Yeah, I, I, I don't feel know. like is I read it? that it's free when it comes out, and then eventually be you'll have. Like, yeah, you'll, exactly. I don't. I could be wrong, but I would say ninety nine cents. I think I it's going to be two ninety nine. It could be. I, I think would, anything over five dollars is too expensive for agreed. a game like that. Yeah. Agreed. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. A game like that. Yeah, I could say anything over five. I think there are games on the App Store. I I don't play them, but there are ones that I feel like can justify the price of being even upwards of ten dollars. Past that, it's a little nuts. But. Uh, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I know a lot of people it, it don't really, when they think of a mobile game, they're like, oh, it's got to be a dollar, it's got to be free or, or, or nothing. I think there are games that can justify their price. Whether or not this game in particular could justify yeah. more than $5, I don't think so. I, yeah, I'm thinking it'll like, be two ninety nine. I've, I've bought all the room games, which I think hover yeah. around $3. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I bought all the, uh, yeah. what was that sword game? In, Infinity Blade. Infinity Blade. Yeah, Infinity Blade. Yep, I did that I, too. Yeah. I think I bought two and three of that one. I think I didn't get into it till two came out, and then one yeah. was free, so I went back and did it. So I'm not, I, I'm not above paying for apps. So I'm, and I don't need them to be a dollar if they're really good. But I think anything over five dollars for just like, and I, just looking at the game, it looks like an infinite run game. I'm not mm-hmm. sure yeah. if it's more than that. But for an infinite run game, even if it is Mario, I mean, 
over five bucks. Seems no like way, man. Just gouging people. Yeah. 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 I don't, I don't think it. I, I think, think it will. I, Nintendo could drop it for that, but I don't think that it'd yeah. be worth it. I think it's probably going to be $2. I'd love it for it to be free. And the, I mean, you know, it'd be like, you know, Jetpack, whatever that game was. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, you know, I could see him having it for a couple of dollars, but I hope it's free. Nice. Jeffrey Carpentieri, I love your guy's show. Listen to it on iHeartRadio. But what is up with Router's mic? Sounds like he's calling on a telephone. <laughs> <laughs> that That's is awesome. hilarious. It's, Jeffrey, it's actually kind, kind of intentional. I have a, a Plantronics uh, headset with, with the little bar mic. Uh, and uh, we've always said that, like, you know, Gabe always sounds incredible. And, and these guys, because they're using, like, pretty amazing mics. And it's just nice to have a little differentiation with me. And, exactly. Uh, if I sound like a mosquito, that's kind of how it is. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of on purpose. You know, it's funny. He's asked us in the past, like, should I get a different bike? We're like, no, no, no. <laughs> Stick with your bike because it oh, it does help with like just the way the voice is. Like me and Ed's voice can fall in the same realm. Yep. And so when when it was me, Tim, and Tim, me and Tim, me and Hall's voice didn't fall in the same realm. And then uh, Router's voice was so different sounding because yep. of the mic. It yeah. just made for a really nice differentiation. Yeah, it's just to really, mm-hmm. yeah, just to kind of spice it up a little bit. So that's that's the reason. One of these well, days, I may get in your nice car all the time. And so yes, I'm in my car. To be carrying this whole big setup with a mic, and you know, but I like the stuff. I like the acoustics in the car. I think it sounds good. It's all cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Nice. Uh, con- continuing on, our boy Jeff Swan. Hey guys, I'm totally stealing this from another podcast gaming group, but I thought this question was great, and I think you guys will have some good answers. It's back to school time. What games do you associate with? With this time of year, the end of summer, early fall games that you were okay with going back to class for if it meant you couldn't go home and play. For Whoa. me, I, rem- I remember playing Soul Calibur 2 like crazy in between classes during my freshman year of college, as well as this is weird because my sports ball knowledge is about as strong as Tim's Final Fantasy 7 knowledge. Ken, <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr.'s baseball for the Super Nintendo. Wow. Whoa. Hope mm. you have a great week, guys. And even though we're not in school, it's like they always say, the teacher, school, books, homework. <laughs> <laughs> like they always say. Jeff, baby. Uh, I teachers. love you, man. That's perfect. Absolutely books. perfect. That's funny. All right. So back to school, end of summer, early fall games that you go and play. Man, I you know it's funny. I I was gonna say Final Fantasy VII, but I think it's just like RPGs in general. I feel like always help me get through that beginning of the school year blues, mm. and so it's just always an escape. But I think uh, if I had to pick one game, Counter Strike probably. Yeah, yeah, going with that, Chris. I don't I don't remember in school like like when games came out. So I don't know if there was a, when Madden was coming out. I mean, I'm sure it came out when football season started, but I don't remember there ever being like a franchise or anything that came out around the time school did. And I was like, okay, I'm picking that up. And I, but I do remember just any kind of shooter. So like in the N64, like I would definitely start playing uh golden eye again, whenever school started. And uh, on the super Nintendo, I was always playing when school started. Cause I could talk to my friends about it, playing uh street fighter two. And like, who have you beat the game with? But I don't remember when they came out in the season. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think they were dropped around school time. So it's like, oh, that'll help me get back into it. Right. Mm. Yeah. I'm kind of like Chris. I don't remember when I think of uh, playing games. It's always in the summertime uh, when I was that age. So I don't know what I don't really have an answer for that. I don't know when they came out or didn't really have a go to for school. Mm hmm. Timmy. Presently, presently for me, like just in the fall, I always think of Assassin's Creed because that's usually yeah. like when it comes mm. out. And uh, I've had, you know, great memories. Uh, I still remember when Gabe, you and Hall came over because you wanted to check out Assassin's Creed 3 out, at our Halloween party. And we just went upstairs real quick and I showed them a little bit of it when early on in the game. And, and it was just it's cool. Like, I just love those fall memories. It's fun. Mm. I like it. Good stuff. Good Thank you for the question, Jeff. Uh, yeah. Facebook, Joseph Grimm, how do you get pixels unstuck? I have two that are green. <laughs> oh, I don't think there's any. I don't you think there's anything. Send you can it do. back to the manufacturer and see if they'll fix it. Yeah, that's too much problem. Just buy a new one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just you know what I'm saying? It. Like, were you gonna mail it there for a yeah. hundred something dollars? No, buy a new one. Yeah, yep. I, I, there's no. I don't think there's anything you can 
I don't think there's anything you could do. There's no- I mean, if it's new and under warranty, send it back. But if it's just one or two pixels, most manufacturers have like a a ratio. Like you, if you have 10 or less, they won't fix it or something like that. If it's just pixels. So that may not work. But if it's under warranty and you've got them all over the place, then yeah, absolutely send it back. It's a hassle because I just went through that having to send back a monitor and all that kinds of stuff. It's not fun, but I mean, it's better than dropping the cash again. But if it's a really old one, yeah, just get something new. Exactly. Yep. Edward, you in agreement? I don't even know what the question means. There it is. So, <laughs> so like, when you're watching television, like, every now and then, on some older TVs, some newer TVs do it, but you'll look up and, like, like when the screen goes black, there'll be, like, one or two pixels that are green, and they just oh, stay really? green all the time. I've never but seen when, that. Yeah, but when, like, when something's going on, like a television show, you usually don't see it, but when oh. the screen goes black or if it goes all white... You'll see where some pixels have acted up. Oh, I never knew. It'll that. happen on com- computer monitors too, but usually it's persistent. I al- I always noticed them. I had an older monitor that when I got it, uh, there were a few on there, and I was like, "I'm sending this junk back." And that's when I found out that there was like mm. a threshold. They're like, "What well, has to be more right. than X amount," and well, yeah. we're not doing anything about it. So yeah. I never sent it in. But every time I turned it on, I'd be doing something. My eye would always go zoop to that pixel. Like dag nabbit. Yes, yeah. that's, yep. yes, that's how my old monitor was. The one that uh, got broken. Oh, is it in my laptop screen? I can't remember, but it's got like a, a it had like a purple haze somewhere on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, purple interesting. Haze. Thanks. Purple haze all on my screen. <laughs> Good question. Purple haze. Purple <laughs> haze. <laughs> nice. Uh, moving on, Gerald F. Schneider the second. With all this NFL boycotting talk, makes me makes me wonder, uh, what would it take for you to boycott a game or system or game company? Uh, release a Wii U. Nice. Uh, <laughs> boom, <laughs> uh, Yikes. I, for me, I think price, like price gouging, like if they just like are making it super expensive and it's just, and it, if it just doesn't function, I don't think I would ever boycott. I just wouldn't buy it. And just, yeah, the beauty of it is, is we have another system we could, that would be my boycott. Yeah. Not yeah. Buy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Chris, Ugh. how about you? Uh, I, the if same, I don't necessarily 4K. think that I would, I don't think I would, no, I would not necessarily boycott. I mean, a company would have to do something really anti-consumer that's really yeah. upset me for me yeah. to go on like a campaign where I'm trying to get others to the cause. And I mean, yeah. that's what I think when I think boycott, but yeah, if it's just something, a price I don't want to pay or I'm not getting enough value for my money, then I just won't buy it. Yep. Yeah, exactly. The way so, you, yep. you, the way you hit companies like that is in their wallet, man. Don't buy it. It's yep. like that. Heck that's yeah. your, that's your boycott. Uh, good question. Mark Q. Martin Croker, who was the voice of Moltar and Zorok on Space Ghost, passed away this week. Oh, were, man. Were you guys fans of Space Ghost? Any other Adult yes. Swim cartoons that you guys are fans of? Oh, man. I used to love Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Yeah, man. I used to watch that thing all the time. Uh, what was, else was on Toonami and all that? Or Adult Swim. That's Adult well, Swim, right? Yeah, what Adult the, Swim. It had yeah. like um, meat bo- or meat wad and there was a shake. Yes. And fries. Uh, My yeah, yeah. name is Shake Zula, the Mike Ruler, the old schooler. Yeah, you want a yeah. trip? I'll bring it to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. What was that? Uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Uh, yes. Aqua Teen yeah. yes. Hunger. Right. Force. Exactly. And yeah. then was that the, was the Boondocks on Adult Swim too? Yeah, I think you're right. Yep. I think that was Adult Swim too. Yeah. I, watched, I used to watch yes. Adult Swim when, uh, when, when Family Guy was uh, not around for a while. Oh, right. Like yes, they, they played they re- it in the they NBA played game. It. And I used to watch the mess out of Family Guy on an adult swim. Yeah. Great question. That was good. I never, I don't think I've ever watched Adult Swim, the channel. I've never had access to it. So. It's not a channel. I think it's just Cartoon Network at night, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like a prime so. time, it's a prime time block on Cartoon well, even Network. That, like, uh, yeah, I've just never, I, there's been skits and, and little segments I've seen on, you know, YouTube or whatever, but I've never sat down and watched a show hmm. in that. I've never, when I, when I first started hearing about it, I didn't have cable by that time, so yeah, I didn't yeah. have a way to, even if I wanted to. Yep. Like the Space Ghost, I know who he is, I've seen him, but I've never watched the show or yeah, I've or never seen it either or anything like that. Space it was Ghost. funny. Oh my yeah, it was gosh. great. I thought it was funny. Thank you, Mark, for the question. That's awesome. Moving on to Twitter at Flowing with Rain. Chris, have you played Rise of Iron? How was it? Uh, to the rest, um, what's for dinner? <laughs> no, I have not played Rise of Iron. Probably not going to get to it until this weekend. 
Yeah. So, I, w- I don't know. To be determined. I think we're going to have leftovers. Nice. We'll probably have them blue apron tonight. Yeah, baby. Oh, we just started we just started blue tonight. apron last week. And oh, nice. I freaking love it. So we got our next shipment in. I know, right? <coughs> it is fantastic. I made dinner on Thursday. And uh yeah, man. It, man, it's so cool. Everything is there. It, we don't have to go to the store or anything. It's right <laughs> no, it's nice, huh? there. And it's all portioned out and it's perfect. I love it. Our uh, our blue apron last week got delayed. Like Ooh. it didn't deliver on time. There was something wrong, something fouled up in the shipping and they were monitoring it and saying hey you know if it doesn't show up by this time they're like we'll just send it back or, or don't use it and yeah, it showed well, up sure. like on thursday it had been sitting on our porch and like the stuff that keeps it cold the frozen yeah. you know, those little bags like they were still cool but they were not you know cold and they were like ah we just threw it away i mean they refunded us our money because obviously it wasn't an issue on yeah. our side or anything but that's the mm-hmm. first time i've ever had any kind of weird hiccup and it's not even their fault i'm assuming it had something to do with ups or whatever but yeah yeah so nice. that's kind of disappointing last week i wanted to have some blue apron and i didn't get to so hopefully we got one coming tonight yeah baby there you go nice man so good i love it it's great this portion of the podcast sponsored by blue exactly. apron exactly i know right uh Etsy ad, Arctic Warlocks. The new fall season started this week. How many of the new shows are going to fail so I can tell my wife not to waste time? Ooh. Oh, man. I don't know oh, about that new Kevin to, James one. Just go on Netflix one? and watch stuff. Yeah, seriously. What, what show did you say? Right. There's a new Kevin James show on that yeah. I know. No, man. Kevin can no. wait. No, come on, man. Yeah. Can, I that can't I, work. And I, I'm not sold on uh, what's the Mel Gibson, Danny Glover movie that they, they did? Oh, come on. Not that one either. Lethal Weapon? No. Yeah, the there's weapon. a Lethal oh, Weapon. Yeah. No. Did, uh, we we set our DVR to record uh, This Is Us. Yep. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think that's the one that Stacy watched last night when I got home. She was watching. She said she really enjoyed it. I nice. got the tail end of it. There was another one we set to record, too. I can't remember what it was, though. We watched uh, oh, the good- Designated Survivor. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Good premise, by the way. I kind of like that. I think that's cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, that's that's. I remember hearing about that in school, like that being a real thing, like mm-hmm. where one person goes away while everybody else is together. And I yeah. always, as a kid, wondered like, man, so if they just bomb that place, that guy's just president all of a sudden? Yeah, pretty <laughs> right? much. We uh, yeah. we watched The Good Place with Kristen Bell together because Lauren really wanted to watch it. And we're like, oh, ah. yeah. we we're like, I don't know if this is going to last. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. It's not. I'm kind of wondering, too. It's kind of. Mm, yeah, it's not the greatest, but we'll see. Didn't have legs, know. huh? No, but it's back, man. Fall season is back. I'm excited, though. There's There yeah, are some is. shows that we have to watch. Chris, you guys watching anything? Uh, like I said, Stacy watched that one show. This, I, I this think that's us. what it was called. What, yeah, This mm-hmm. Is Us. Um, yeah. I know my sister's been super interested in that one as well, but we don't we don't watch a whole lot of live TV. So right, there's yeah. nothing else that I even know that's coming out that I'm like, oh, I really want to check out this. Right. Yeah. Usually we you. watch, or if we don't watch, definitely Stacy watches uh, the Voice at least the last couple of years. Yep. But oh, right. Something about the season just is not intriguing either of us. I don't have anything yeah. against like Alicia Keys and and you know Miley Cyrus Miley. is what she is, but I'm just. I just saw who the the coaches were. I'm just like, yeah, you know. I'm, but I'm I mean, right. that's yeah. it's two two hours of television right there. You know, that's how yeah. American Ninja Warrior yeah. was. We never watched it live. We waited until the DVR recorded it so we could watch it. Right. I mean, that's a lot to ask somebody to put in two hours on pro- of prime really time. Is. Mm-hmm. All right, final question, and we'll get out of here. At the Art of Bacon, M M&M and M or M and M's? Ooh. <laughs> M&M's. Uh, M&M's. M&M the rapper or M&M's the candy? Candy. Candy. Uh, depends on what kind of mood I'm in. I know. I like both, but I think I'm going candy because it's delicious. And it's getting yeah. the Halloween season, and I'm going to be eating those mini packs like a beast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, M&M doesn't quite... After That's I apples have and either, oranges. I... Well, after I have either, I feel bad about myself. Nice. <laughs> nice. But... Uh... M&M's. Yeah. I got to go with the candy. I mean, you know. Nice. I li- Eminem is, listen, he's probably one of the greatest rappers ever of all time. Agreed. Like he's, I listened to him a lot when I was in high school. Yes. Agreed. The way he words things and the way he makes things rhyme is Agreed. incredible. Uh, but, I mean, that just he just doesn't satisfy like M&M's. No, no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my gosh. Good question. Good question. That's it. Thank you, everybody. All right. Yes, thank you for all the questions. Your question of the week is, we're going on a nostalgia kick. Ooh. Oh. What's that game that you're like, oh, man, 
But remember this game, guys, that's probably not as good as you remember it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Nostalgia kick. I'm going with Snatcher on the Sega CD. I've talked about it before on the show. It's old. Uh, it's kind of anime style. And for some reason, I remember it like it was the best, but it probably <laughs> is not the best. <laughs> Do you guys have anything like that? Uh, Chris, oh, can man. you remember a game? I'm, I'm going to say GoldenEye, because I feel like if I played that today, I'd be like, this is straight dumb. <laughs> nice. But back in the day, I love that. Straight heck dumb. Out. Yeah, garbage on the controls, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Ed? There was a fighter game on the uh, Sega Genesis called Balls with a Z. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That sounds about right. <laughs> and all all the characters were made out of a bunch of little balls. Nice. Oh my gosh. And I loved that game, but there's no way it was good. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Mommy, I'm going to go play balls. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, Again? son? And it, it was just cool because the 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 the, the theme song was like nts, 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 balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Gosh. I got to look this game up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. I'm definitely looking it up and now have it in my search history. Thanks a lot. (laughs) That's going to be amazing. (laughs) Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis? Sega Genesis. Oh, my gosh. 3D balls. That's it. Yep. That's amazing. That's great. Uh, Router, I know you're new to this thing. No, I don't know, man. I, I'm I'm trying to think of something, but I I, I don't have it from your arcade days that you can think of. Even yeah, you know, maybe a Commando. Like I played the mess at a Commando mm. all the time, and I think if you went back, you were like, yeah, this is okay. It's not the greatest, but <laughs> yeah, I yeah. dumped so many quarters in that game. I loved that game. That was so much fun. Nice. Those are good answers, guys. Yeah, it's um, good. that's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, <laughs> so let us know what you guys can go on a nostalgia kick about that you played and you love and you look back with the fondest of memories, but you know, in the back of your mind, <laughs> you know, it's, it's probably not that good. Come on. Come on. There's yeah. no way. Come on. There's no way. Chris, you're going to get a lot of hate mail for Goldeneye. Yeah, you are. I'm just being real. I love uh-huh. the heck of that game, but I guarantee if I had access to an N64 and put that in and started playing, I'd be like, what? <laughs> Was I thinking? <laughs> You're thinking I, this is the first time you ever done something like this. Yeah. Like if you if we all went back to our very first kisses ever, I'd probably be like, "What was I doing? That's mm. a, what are you? Settle down." No, nah, man, I was holding it down. Uh, yeah, yeah I bet you were. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that ginger was on the hunt. That's there right. You go. The ginger oh. hunt. Yeah, he didn't mention his first kiss was like 23, so he had right, right. read a lot of books. <laughs> seen plenty of websites about it. All That's right. Awesome. Let us know. Use hashtag answer MTTG. Oh, I'm Gabe Patillo. That is Tim Router. That is Ed Placencia. That is the kissing Chris McCracken. Yes. <laughs> and we are married to the games, and we up out this thing. Yeah. Balls. <laughs> Balls. With a Z. <laughs> oh, that is man. awesome. Are we up at this thing? Balls. <laughs> Balls. Balls. Uh, there's no uh, way I would have done that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> keep it clean, everybody. Keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>